At least these games so fast have been like three in the span of a year. RGG, the developers, are just very efficient. And a lot of it is reused assets, which is good because then we get so much content so fast and there's like no lack of quality. Because instead of spending resor resources on assets, they just put resources towards the shit that matters. They're very impressed. Fresh, you looking not tired at all? Thanks, bud. Hmm. Let's keep going. Kind of funny with the English. Um. Okay, so so I did. I tab up. Saw game after all. It was okay. I uh, I enjoyed streaming it. I probably won't ever play it again though. It's just like one of those one and done type you things. Time. You got the time, Nadva. Okay, so I did a whole bunch of the part-time heroes. I think I did like thirty. And I only gained two levels because all of the part-time heroes that I did were just level 28. Yeah, I cleared a lot. It's just... It's just these couple. This one actually might be a lower level one, but... Two other ones I did in the area were like level 40s, so these are probably all level 40s. So I may as well just do these real quick. But, uh... Yeah, I didn't change... I didn't change much. Like, stat-wise. Yo, but I did use a bit more of the... The, the, the Hyper Brawler version. Like, the Devil Trigger that Kiryu now has. It's, it's pretty broken. Like, that base... It basically, like, made the level 40 so much easier. And I have- there's just like no weapons here for me and like I haven't even been to Kamurocho yet. So let me just clear the, these out real quick. Just the part-time hero stuff because there's only four and they're high level. What's this limit do? Yeah, did you see it? It basically turns the game into a classic game. It's just like a brawler. I'll show you. Not here though. I'll wait for like a high level enemy. Oh, level 20. 38. Well, this is good. We could definitely grind on 38 ones. Like, I refuse to spend too much... I refuse to spend too much money on the, um... On, like, the homeless class. They made a joke about in the first game, they became an actual thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the devil trigger is just... It's like he breaks out of the Ichiban thing. He's just like, Ichiban's idea sucks. Let's just go back to the way I do it. Who's voice in English specifically? Yeah, it's just... I feel like... I feel like no matter who voiced Kiryu in English, there'd be a problem. But, I don't know, I think he sounds fine. There's some lines that sound a little, like, too normal guy, but, I mean, that's not a really big deal. I think he sounds fine for the most part. Oh yeah, I was gonna heal before I got here. Shit! We're gonna die. Any weapons for Sunny and Psyker? Are they still using the base ones? They still- well, their their base ones are like three stars. I didn't get them any yet. I was actually looking around Yokohama to see if I could find any better shops, which is why I'm thinking it's probably all in Yokohama. Because, yeah, every all their weapons suck and like none of the stores around here have better ones. Or it's not that they suck, it's just... They're just too weak for this. I'm just gonna... Use items. Can you not make the subtitles bigger? Also, we also haven't summoned that all yet because I was like stingy about money, but now I have a lot of money. We'll do it for stuff that matters though. Also, I definitely learned how OP burning arrow is. I feel like I learned so much more about the game when I was not streaming it. But at least we have sadistic heal still. God, she looks so much cooler in the ninja outfit doing that. Aloha. 
I might die just because I forgot to heal before I went to a battle. Oh, look at this! I didn't do this on stream yet. Look at them go! <laughs> You can't drink that carrot. Well, he's not drinking it. He's just he's breathing fire. <laughs> you want nothing, personal. That's nothing personal, kid. I swear, burning arrow kills people no matter what. It's my turn. I find a knockback. Come, come, come! Damn it! Find Psycho. Here you go. Thanks. Right. If he's doing ten drink links in a row, he's he's gotta do them. I mean he's kinda just holding it really. No one say anything about holding the drinks. Yeah. Sungi will make it. Let's play? we'll just need to kill this guy. Kill him, kill him, kill him! Oh, the car assist! <laughs> I Let's kicked the it. car? How dare you take that kill from me? I th That car didn't waste any time, by the way. He's like, yeah, he's gonna die soon anyway. <laughs> I won't hold back. He's burning arrow. Oh, you're weak to knife, are you? you Here, come this way. Come into my web. So bad right now, I know. Trust me, I was looking. It has to be in Kamarocho. No begging for mercy now. Damn, we got the backup. Nanba sucks too. Have fun with this. Carcoon with the follow up. Oh damn, I walked too much to the left. It's my turn. It's my turn. I gotta kill this dude. Wait, but you're weak to knife. Something wrong. No, don't show up. I'm not that down. My keychains? Like everything sucks for them. Oh! Watch! Look how cool this is. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Do the grab! Shit, I messed up. Because if you. You can you can extend that for a lot longer if you do a combo. Cause if it ends but you're still doing a combo, it'll let you finish the combo. Which is pretty broken. But anyway, we killed two dudes, so this would be way easier now. Oh shit! <laughs> Carcoon to the rescue. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that attack literally oh my god, Nadva. That attack literally saves my crew sometimes. 
This poor dude. Yo, look at her attack. <laughs> it's so bad. Let's get him while he's down. Yep. Yay, another 38 down. But that was just a random encounter. Like the actual things right here. I should probably go to suit uh Cabarocho. Okay. Pretty funny, I'm glad they did that. It's pretty great. Oh, my One Piece ones in Discord, aren't they great? The fact that they turned them into keychains. But I did that to one of the... So, but but your the, uh, the devil trigger attack for Kiryu, it sometimes goes into, like, close-up slow-mos of, like, him punching his fist through the enemy. And I was getting in encounters last night with the... the... the people... like, the buff dudes with the waifu anime masks on, you know? So it would just do, like, the slow-mo of punching their masks. It was really funny. Karis, it's been more than three months now, dude. <laughs> dude? I've... I've been caught up for three months. I started buying shit in, like, October. So five months, dude. It'd be funny if he slicked his hair back classes out just for that mode. Oh, that would have been cool. His hair gets, like, messy during it. Then he doesn't fix it. I should have. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I've I've been a one piecer for months. I'm just thinking if I should do this now, because I really should get better weapons. But like my other concern is I really want non but to fucking get to 30 already. <sighs> dude. Okay, how about I just eat food, and then I can do this. Cause... I mean, it's fine. I have... Cause, like, Namba does a lot of... magic damage. Kiri does all the damage. Songhee's still pretty... strong. Strong he. And what's-her-name could just heal. So, like... Is that a few YouTube stream? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm streaming on YouTube right now. I love how you don't know what you're talking about. We gotta do the Virgil or Wesker hair adjustment. Hell yeah. The hair app is that vicious again. Classic app. Okay, please be level 38 or under. Look, they're bugging this poor old lady. Are we gonna be okay? Yo, I can just burning arrow them constantly. Their attack team sucks. So does this attack. She does like no damage right now. Yeah, that was pathetic. <laughs> Shit. Like I'm struggling, I'm suffering now so I can be better later. Pigeon Storm is really good, I've learned. My friends! My best friend and my sister! Got one. Going to regret this. Nanba, what are you doing? Nanba stick does more damage than Songy. You were worried about me. My best friend and my sister. Shacking up. No, oh, come on, Nanba! Okay, at least he's on fire. Well, she can just probably kill him, right? No! Kiryu, finish him up! Thank you. Allow me. Allow me, he says. Nothing personal. Look how much damage that fire arrow does, dude. Nanba is ruthless. That poor car! <laughs> 
Imagine, oh, it's parked. Imagine you, you parked your car for work and then you come out and there's just human shaped dents on the side of your door. Like, oh man. Have fun with this. <laughs> There's like burn marks on the back of it. <laughs> what happened? Where's Nanba? Nanba! Dropkick shaped greater. <laughs> yeah, just do like boot prints of like just a, a massive unshaped, just big shape of the dent. Chef was drop kicked in my car. This is like a cleaver scratch in it too. What a what What's he saying? Yo. Here we go. That guy probably is gonna burn to death. So is he. But he's oh, thank you for. <laughs> he got in a better position. All right, that guy's gonna burn to death. That. <laughs> Knew it. If I told you about you kids play your JRPG battles inside my house, this is somebody's house. He was so fun. I think I'm ready to take on these clowns. Here, let's eat again so we can heal. So we can be refreshed. Well, okay, I'm gonna catch up on part-time hero stuff. I'm gonna do the rest of the blue book mission thingies here. And then we can go to Kamurocho. I just really want to do side stuff with Kiryu before we progress the story. I don't know. Plus, I really need to get to Kamurocho because I think that's where all the weapons are. I'm a good shape. Think of the same thing. All right, let's 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 uh leave that area before that guy comes back from work and sees all the dents in his car. Basically, like when Mr. Bean turned around and his car got ran over by a, whatever the, the the thing is, but way more sad because that guy probably didn't deserve it. Mr. Bean, <laughs> was it the South Park RPG? A bit. All right, level forties. Please say it ain't so. No, <laughs> it's okay. We can make it. Oh, he's spreading pollen. We were already bleeding because of the pollen. What the fuck is in that pollen? No, I'm stunned. Bear trap. I'm the lookout. Oh my god. Dude, everyone's dying. Namba's been silenced. Bear trapped. We can still do this. As long as it's, uh, Psycho isn't. Because she's, she has to heal. Right. Right. She's gotta heal them. You guys good? Not in I'm just gonna... Like, all the status effects. Here, dude, come here. Go in the, go in the green circle. I gotta herd him in there. Go, go, go. Yes! Fool. Fool! <laughs> That's when he look out. Ow. Why are they targeting her? They're just intimidated by strong- No, everyone's stunned! Oh, we're so fucked. Nanba! I need to use all the. Don't silence her.
Oh, it's from all allies? Oh, she is such a good healer. Make the ouchies go away. Look, everyone has no more status ailment problems. Back in the game. Okay, I need y'all to go back into this little circle here. <laughs> With benefits. Okay. Thousand base damage to all enemies, piercing their hearts, and occasionally flicking poison. We, we've never seen these summons yet. I haven't used them yet. Without benefit, so... It'll still do a lot of damage, and sh Nancy's gonna rescue us. Nancy and Olivia. Imagine... <laughs> Samurai summoning... Oh my god, this is gonna be so cute. They look so deadly. <laughs> Crustacean combination. Oh, that guy's fucked. Oh, oh shit! She is- she's doing judgment cut end! Actually, judgment cut end, what are you gonna do? Oh, Olivia. And she does... That's basically Deep Stinger, which is also a Virgil move. These two are just Virgil moves. That's so sick. And just like that, look at them! They both have their claws up! Oh my god, that is so cute. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I really needed that. Follow my lead. It's straight up, it's, it's both, both Virgil. Two of Virgil's, uh... Devil Trigger move, I guess. Or not Devil Trigger, but like their full, full bar use, usage. They just full barred. That makes me so happy. <laughs> I was gonna, cause it's like one of my favorite quests, and of course they end up doing Virgil shit. Now we're talking. I wish I could... Here. None, but you can finish Poach Roach off. Cause she's got a heal. Here we go. Everyone so low level. Nanba! I should have moved it to Kiryu. I'm just stupid. Alright, go back. Here, get get in there. Where's Kiryu? Kiryu just said what when I asked. No! Kiryu, get him! Damn it! It's okay, Asada's poisoned. Aw, <laughs> it's so great if you got him. It, ah, kick him to Kiryu! Can you finish him off? Damn, Kiryu. He's like, I just called Nancy. I'm, I'm still shook up by Nancy. Alright, GG's. We have a winner. He mapped me out of nowhere! Okay, Sh let's finish up. Uh, that's weird. It hasn't done that in a while. I don't know why. <sighs> I, I, my, my mic has been able to do that. Or my mic shut off or anything like that before, but then I fixed it and it didn't do it in a while. Now it's just back to doing it. So I don't know what's causing it. But anyway, what I was saying before my computer decided to be a pain in the ass. Just gonna stand here? Uh, is whoa these are like making noise what I was saying is that so, that's this is the level 40 mission this is level 40 mission uh that I don't know but that's at Survive, which me and we have Drink Links to do, so we're gonna be spending the rest of the stream probably in Kamurocho, and then a whole bunch of time in the bar. 
I don't know if, like, some of the story stuff happens in Kam Kamurocho. They're just like, by the way, you can go to Kamurocho. Which makes me think Kamurocho is totally optional. But I don't know for sure yet. Um, but let's go there. And then, and then also by going to Kamurocho, I can probably get weapons that are better for my dudes. Uh, and then possibly finally get Nanbus to stop being a homeless man. <laughs> Maybe I'll make him a samurai. So Kiryu can go back to Brawler. Oh my god, we're back in Kamurocho! Can we take a break? There goes soda caps. Whoa, there's so many books everywhere! It's my segue. It's in my pocket. Okay, first things first, let's go find weapons. This is Ebi Su Pawn. That's the march. Where's, where's the pawn shop? It's right here. Let's go check the pawn shop first. Let's eat first, then go to the pawn shop. Oh my god, I'm in Kamurocho, I'm so happy! So is Kiryu. I'm happy because Kiryu's probably happy. Hello! I'm excited to be back home. Hi. Oh, superb rice choice? Okay, rice dishes. Perhaps these two. Get all the Ichiban money for Kiryu? Well, yeah, but I spent it, so Kiryu earned all the money that he has now. Yeah. That was, that was, certainly food. was that the rice combo? Arigato. Fuck. I'm so bad at picking the rice combo. What's the rice combo? The superb rice choice. That has rice. That has rice. You're telling me that's not? Smell like Ichiban's money like a trophy wife. It's okay, I gave him the permission. <gasps> no! Lobsters make me think of Nancy now. Excuse me. Excuse me, I'm in Kamurocho. I'm sorry, I can't help it. First things first. We can check this place first. Kamuro Police Station. Ah, oh, memories. Pumma soup? I don't know if it says rice. Now why would they build a police station this large here? It's given off an I've got my eye on you vibe. The cops and I get along like dogs and cats. <laughs> but the detectives I've encountered were all guys who I die- who, who I die- who die for what they believe in. Detectives are good buds. And I've been influenced by their way of life time after time. Date-san especially, I owe that man a great debt I doubt I'd ever be able to repay. Weren't for him, I don't know if I'd still be alive to this day. Strange, isn't I remember it? remember this. I would think a former Yakuza detective would wind up being friends. And one of the only ones I've got at that. Here you, in a span of like, two hours, you have like, nine friends. That's- you're set, man. You have nine friends, that's great. That's a lot of friends. Alright, pawn shop. Is, is, are they bothering you, sir? Alright, hold on. Why is Dati not in a helicopter? Ah, uh, Ebi Supon. From family heirloom seized as part of a debt collection to a ring be sold the same day was given to a hostess. <laughs> pawn shop is a place where all kinds of things gather, each with their own history. But for some reason, this place always struck me as a weapon and armory shop. Yeah, for some reason. We've got Japanese swords and even chainmail armor. Strange as the selection is, I have to say, I do like the variety. Feels like just yesterday. I really appreciate the shop for helping me get this far. Yeah, no kidding. We have 40 Kamurochos. More friends than he's had in any other point in his life. Yeah, it's like all at once. Hi, sir. You have... Weapons? No, it all sucks, damn it! <laughs> Of course. Okay, I think my only solution now, if if I can't find weapons in Kamurocho, I'm just gonna have to like upgrade him at, at the shop. I didn't want to do that, but I'm probably gonna have to. I mean, I don't mind upgrading. I just I didn't feel right about upgrading three stars, but it might be our only choice. We'll see. Oh, oh, see, that would have. Maybe been better for her assassin class. Maybe these are like 
base. No, these are like base. Yeah, no, because that was a base one that we found. And these are much better. I think those are just base weapons. What do you have? <sighs> oh, a gift! A wristwatch? Psycho, would you like a wristwatch? <laughs> Thank you. Yes. So their base weapons are even back here. Yeah, why don't I don't accidentally do anything, okay? Take that back. I wonder what level Kamarocho people are. Yeah, you can keep upgrading stuff, it's just after a while, it just depends on like if it's worth upgrading or not. Let's do it. Oh 33s! That's kinda that's this is might be perfect. Well, 33 is kinda weak now, but for me. I'm sure it's fine. Oh my god, the old music! Wait a minute! Have fun with this. This just this just dawned on me. This is the song they use in Project Crosso when it's Kiryu's turn. Here we go. Get oh my god, the Kamurocho music. Yeah. I I can tell because of that. -na 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 -na. Here we go. It's like a re it's a different version though. But it's this 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 song. There's more where this came from. Yes. Road slitter. Twirling beat. Okay. They're doing less damage because their gear sucks currently. And I I've, I've been trying to find better gear so I can like buy stuff instead of upgrading. But it's getting to the point where I might just have to upgrade. And that's fine, I don't mind. I just didn't know. I just wanted to see if it could be different. Normally a guy like me wouldn't visit such an ordinary high-class boutique. A guy like him? But I've made a great memory here before. Oh! I once bought Yumi a birthday present here. Never did that kind of thing before, so I was really nervous about it. To top it all off, it got stolen right after I bought it, so I had to track down the thief to get it back. I remember that! I went through hell because of that ring, but it was all worth it. Because I was able to give her something she'd always wanted. Feels Have like you just yesterday. I hope Yumi was happy with it. <laughs> Stop it. How's their hobby doing? I don't know, I haven't seen him in days, but I hear you now. Oh, I see some some greens. Oh, but everything's so expensive! Damn it! <laughs> Great. Cool. I found the place that's willing to sell me shit that I want, and it's too expensive. All of these! Okay. We're gonna have to cut a deal. I, about, uh, roughly 20 years ago, or third, I don't know, it's been a while, I bought a ring here, okay? Does that mean we have some kind of, like, friendship, camaraderie? You don't see your hubby for a few days to get a new one? No, he's not my hubby. He's just, every, everyone pines over here. <laughs> Can I sell shit? This sucks. Funny to have to work. I do, I can't go. I, okay, if I if I knew, I would have like went to Dondoko Island and grinded money for the foreseeable future. I should go back to the pawn shop and just sell a bunch of shit. Maybe I'll have enough. But I have like plates and crap. For fourteen million yen came. <laughs> I mean that's how expensive. Like Kiryu's sword that we have is would have been fourteen million yen. I think. I'm here to sell. Hi, I'm back. Okay, I don't have a lot of things I could sell. Paper plate! <laughs> sell an iron plate. I'm gonna sell this TV. Okay, that's all I got. <laughs> Let's sell everything else. Arigato. 
if I knew, I would have grinded money, but I didn't. Oh, a designer bag. Gosh, are you sure? So hey. sure. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, we can gamble for money. <laughs> Maybe there's another place. There's no other place. Anyway, we're here for memories of Kiryu. It'll be, we'll get over it. Beat them pachinkos. I, I genuinely believe gambling is the worst idea I could do. Blackjack is gonna... I'm gonna lose my money. Actually, I could just try to save scum. I could go all in. <laughs> they won't let me like go in with 9 million yet at once, but... I could go in, try to double my money. But even if I double my money, I'd be able to only buy one weapon. Anyway, I believe our Kawa family office is around here. Oh, Ichiban Kasuga, the man who was instrumental to the dissolution of both the Tojo clan and Omi Alliance. <gasps> Damn, look at that, that's in the last game. And now I believe you to be a man I can trust to do what needs to be done. Oh, This might be the first time I've ever entrusted someone with such a big task. He's entrusting him with the whole franchise. This brings back memories. He really is one hell of a guy. Look, even Kiryu's in love with Ichiban. My boys. Wait, I love the extra stuff that he says. Especially if he's talking about Ichiban. I gotta... I gotta see what he said. Ichiban Kasuga, he's not a bad fighter by any means, but his true strength is his ability to unite those around him. It's like Mufi! There's something he has that I don't. And to tell the truth, I'm a little jealous of that. No, that's... I hear you. I mean, you... You got stuff. <laughs> don't think you don't have stuff. He's got stuff. Give me your money, punk. <laughs> here you see Ichiban as a dragon, like, how did Ichiban do to cure you? I hope so. Project Crossover music. God, I miss Project Crossroads so much. Thanks, Pulse. Yeah, he ended up not needing surgery. He, um... He had bulge discs in his back, which got him, like, it, like, just hurt him and he couldn't walk, but... He's all good now. He's... He's too good now, but he's, like, still recovering because his back is still, like, not 100%, right? So he's not allowed to climb or run anywhere. But he's like, bitch, watch me. He's, like, climbing and trying to run, and I have to stop him. Before I have taken a resetting from checkpoint, if I'm not satisfied with HP loss to restore you, sorry, drive yourself and say, No, that's, that's not even bad, Bozon. That's, like, that's pretty normal. No, he's still- he still has to take the roids. We're, we have to, like, wean the- wean him off roids. Like, I, I have to give him half a tablet, like, once a day now instead of twice a day. And then... What's to say? Today's Thursday? So on Sunday, I have to start giving him every other day. It's bulging his vocal cords to <laughs> call- <laughs> call for help, yeah. Get him, Nanba! Yeah, he knew! Beat that loser up. He's addicted to the roids. Little snake. Ooh, I'm gonna give a bouquet of roses to my dog. Will they be like, can I eat it? Ravenous for ramen, so three ramen dishes. I mean, there's only three. Okay, so it has to be these three. We didn't get the convo! How much more ravenous for ramen do you need? Do they not get it? Is it only with Ichiban? But that wouldn't make sense because we had one with Kiryu. Is it because it's these three? I don't, I don't know. Does anyone know why it's not? Oh my god. 
Gyoza. Does anyone know why the conversation thing at the bottom is not going off? Let's try ordering it again, I don't know. You can just Let's buy one it. of everything to get the combos. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Great. One... Why is this one not going off? It's very time. much ramen. Does, like, do we pick the non-ramen choices? Wait, one of everything. I have one of everything, please! I have to talk to my oh, friends. There we go. The ramen here has a really rich broth. It's just too good. I try to watch my salt intake these days, but I couldn't help but down the whole bowl this time. Listen to you watching your sodium. Huh? What's that at the bottom of your bowl? Huh. Oh, look at that. Let's see here. Someone wrote Moe Mi Machita. Who's that? No clue. The heck is this? Apparently, this restaurant used to have a unique tradition of writing their regulars' names on their bowls. Though, I heard they stopped doing it a long time ago. So that must have been one of their old regulars. Oh, that's cool. Oh, now that's a cool idea. I've seen some places that put names up on the walls, but bowls is a first for me. You'd never see it unless you drank down That's so cute, time. right? That's likely the goal. This place prides itself on their broth, after all. Time to see who's at the bottom of my bowl. You finish yours too, Sonny? It says... Kazuma Kiryu. He's a regular! Uh, hmm. <laughs> they all look at him. <laughs> Same name. What a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, fat chance. <laughs> what no a coincidence. Way there's another Kazuma Kiryu walking around Kamurocho. You come a lot here back in the day, Kiryu-san? Okay, now my turn. Uh, it's faded and hard to read. A Shinji Tanaka? Nothing. Guess this place had its fair share of regulars. Though I bet Kiryu-san's the only one I'd know. That goes without saying. None of us are from Kamurocho after all. Except Kiryu-san here. And whoever this mysterious second Shinji one is. Tanaka. Actually, there is no second Kiryu. It's me. <laughs> well, yeah. I think we all knew that. It's funny. Something about the ramen here brought all these memories flooding back. They're almost as savory as the broth. It was ham what? There's no second Kiryu? These conversations are so funny. <laughs> the way... Oh, gyoza. Gyoza has nothing to do with... Okay, it's, it's so it's like a... What? That is, ravenous for ramen? I don't know. Whatever. Ah, oh, praise the chashu. Those just look like pierogies. Chashu pierogi? Japanese yeah. for pierogi? Food. Money, I need that. I need money. Man. Oh, we're about to reminisce about how we ate here a million times. Kyushu number one star. In the past, the food here tasted so disgusting I thought it was strange they didn't go out of business. I think it was actually a front for an underground casino. That was really something. Now it's a decent ramen shop. I guess when people come in and put their minds to it, they really can change. Or maybe I'm just talking up the shop, making them look good. I'll leave out the little details. Try to drop in for a bite every ah, once in a while. That takes me back. It's not often I get to eat good ramen at a reason reasonable price. Better not take it for granted. Gyoza and ramen does go go well, go well together. Uh, yeah, eight fifty nine bucks per dish. Wait, is that how much it was? It is shy. Well, that no, that'd be that'd be closer to like six dollars. That one's more like eight. That'd be like uh, seven. Seems Adios, seems their own me. I know ramen, like those kind of meals, are really cheap in Japan. Unlike here, like God, if you get like that kind of ramen, like around me, it's like fourteen dollars. Oh, floral microphone. Oh my god, we don't even need to buy shit. Yes! Wait, how much better is it? Wait, what did she have? Oh, novice. Oh, I see. Oh my god, that's so much better. Whoa, when did I get a mighty brush? 
Wait, is that the one I bought? Oh, I like his brother. He's like that one. He's oh fuck, what's his name? That one character in Dynasty Warriors with the, with the paintbrush. Is it my die? I think it's my die. Eleven fifteen euros. It's pretty big range. Good round place in Grand Rapids. I was shocked. That's cool. Hopefully they're reasonably priced. Hi Otto. Okay, they're slightly better except for Sonny. I actually slept well last night. Sonny, would you like to use a safe key? Or what's over here? Nine ten for big portions. That's so much better. <laughs> There's some seriously like places near me are way too expensive. Yeah, there's like no chains, huge differ from safe small places. Yeah, it just depends on like what opens up. A nerf dagger. It's nerfing her. Hopefully I can find one. I'm so lucky I found one for uh Psycho, but yeah. I guess we just upgrade that one. I just I, I just didn't feel right upgrading like base or like three star weapons when I could just straight up hold out for like a five star. We you know, so you don't go there too often? Yeah, that's fair. I have all my ramen places are far from me, except for one that's just like, okay. And I, I'd rather, like, if I'm gonna eat ramen, I'd rather just not just like have something that's just okay. Especially because, like, they're all the same price. $14, like, pay for convenience at that point. Like, the place that I got the Odin from the other day, uh, I actually, I looked, I never even heard of it before, but I looked up where it is and it's actually a, a place I go to pretty often because there's like a really nice uh, Korean bakery right next to it that I love going to. So, yeah, I'll have to try out the ramen sometime. It just sucks because like my, my Chinatown, like in Cleveland, fucking sucks. It's so bad. It's the it's one of the worst Chinatowns ever. However, but there's some really good restaurants, so it's not like it's just like because it, it's not like it's not like a nice little like plaza or like shopping center or something like like or street that most Chinatowns are. I say Chinatown, but you know what I mean because that's just like the broad name for it. But it has a lot of like Korean and Japanese in place other places. Asian population Cleveland. I mean, it's 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 big enough to have, like, its own dedicated like Chinatown type district, um, but it's it's like yeah, it's it's not like this like centralized nice location. It's just like, it's a long street, of like everything, but it's just random Asian restaurants like thrown about, and they all look so dingy from the outside. But that's like, part of its charm, I guess. <laughs> Prison Columbus, probably no kid cutting from Cleveland. Yep, and Halle Berry's from Cleveland. Um, I think Columbus has a much better Chinatown district. Saw a ramen shop. Hezekiah opened up Tommy Room. Should I trust Rami or Nick Woods? No, you should try it. Try it anyway. That one is really good, Pimp. That was so far out, though. Did you see how it's supposed to be? Yeah, but it's like, it's like bad dingy. Like, it's not, like, it, it seriously looks like just a really dangerous part of the neighborhood. But it's not. But like a couple streets later, it would be like super dangerous. Halle Berry's an actress, yeah. Best restaurants are the ones where all the old Asians are. Yeah, see, like our Chinatown area is very much populated by like, because like it's next to a college, so there's a lot of like college age people. Oh, I love Kintaro. <laughs> You're including you drive out of your way for hot pot Kintaro. I don't get their hot pot too much, but I get the all you can eat sushi. At, like, why? I haven't been there in a while, but I would get that all the time. I freaking love Kintaro. It's so good. Oh my god, I can talk about Cleveland stuff. <laughs> the screen for are the ones with the most angry and oldest Korean ladies. I, yeah, that's what I hear. I don't, I don't like have any near me. Also, hygiene. I don't have that near me. It's always like younger people. All the like old angry employees are like probably the chefs though. But then because again, like since it's close to a college town or a college, a lot of the places um, are going to have like younger customers. So they probably have young people at the front and then like all the old people <laughs> are just like angrily making their dishes. 
Wait, Umami, yeah, that's- we- we went there. A bunch of us met up recently for Cedar Point and stuff, and then we- we went to Umami. That place is really good. I went to the exchange right after. I don't know- there's a- there's a place in downtown called- I think it was called Alpha Ramen that opened up recently. I had their food recently, but... That's specifically the one that I was talking about. Hawaii or the Korean Mafia ate? I'll have to- I'm gonna go to Hawaii specifically for Korean food. You gotta pair it up with the exchange. I mean, restaurant they used to have the sweetest people. It was fantastic. It's the exception. Chain that has does conveyor belt sushi. Oh man, I I wish I had a good conveyor belt sushi place near me. There's one that opened up sorta near me, but it's not that good. It's like you go there mostly for like the gimmick. Even though I spent a majority of my life in this town. Oh, you live in Brunswick now? Nice. I'm a, I'm a bit north of that. If you, imagine being able to go to Umami every day. You're like, I want to taste the anger, yeah. Top choice restaurant, any type of food for Cleveland? Not really. I don't really eat in Cleveland all that often, but... Do you want Odin? <laughs> I know the one place that sells Odin. Cedar Point, where last time I was there, a kid died in Michigan Adventure. It was too tall for the new ride. All the safety stuff. Are you too tall for the rise? That sucks. Oh, nice. Yeah, real close to Summit Mall. That's cool. That's a really cool area. I'd consider moving there at some point, but... I live where I live now. Surprising how I don't remember this building at all. It looks so new that way. I kind of want to peek inside, but maybe it's best to leave it as a mystery. After all, the people who work- I, I don't even know what building I'm in. After all, the people who work here either have nothing to do with me or don't know I exist. They got their own lives to live. Strange to think that, but just goes to show the world is a wondrous place bigger than we could ever I imagine. Remember this. The opportunity presents itself. I look forward to the day I get to see what's inside. He's so excited about- It's just a building. Sir! Cedar Point was always pretty sketchy. Cedar Point, it's, it's an amusement park. So much leftover. I live by that ramen shop. Portions are huge. They were. My portion was bigger than Cerevix, though. Ow. Boy, damn it. I just want ramen now. And I let him know that. Yeah, I wasted no time to let him know. Oh! Oh my god, what is he gonna bring a Majima? Oh my god, oh my god. Don't get in my way! Oh, yes. Shangri-La, huh? I believe Costigo was raised by the manager here. Originally, it was a luxurious soap land exclusively for those with the membership. One of them being Shinji. That's Shinji, okay. After that, after that time, I thought he had a problem with how so addicted to sex, but maybe being so passionate about something is a good thing. While I was away in prison, he did a lot of growing up. I'm sure he must have faced many hardships, he was still alive today. Ah, that takes me back. Well, I would have liked to see the kind of man he'd become, but there's no point in thinking like that now. Okay, he's just talking about Shinji. Look for ramen in Cleveland. There's a... Alpha Ramen just opened up. There's a place by House of Blues called... That's with an O. <laughs> I don't know, but that they have really good ramen. What is it called? Oh. Oh, hell. We see you killed Ashley. She was getting napped and I whipped around and shot her by accident. It's gonna happen, yeah. <laughs> I've shot Ashley a countless amount of times on accident. Need the name. It's like, it's like two places down from House of Blues. Oishi? So, uh, no, that's another place. Otani, oh, thank you. That's the one. That's like it's like a mini chain now. I think there's like four Otani's. And the one who was connected to them was Yuta. Yuta Usami, Haruka's husband. So can't believe it, even after all of these years. He's a good guy, a bit timid at times, but he's got the nervous seat through what needs to be done. 
Plus, he's a looker. I'll give him that. Oh, yeah, Kiryu? Someone like him. I know he make Haruka and Haru so happy. I'm sure of it. And on the off chance he makes them both cry, a ghost is gonna have to pay him a visit. Oh my god, Kiryu? I like that. This brings back memories. I'm trusting you with their happiness, Yuta. Aww. How sweet. A ghost. Yuta Usami, man, underwent many trials and merged a great deal stronger afterwards. I can trust him with both Haruka and Haruto's care. You got that, Yuta? I'm counting on you. Make them happy for me. No, that's so sweet! Yep. Put him in his place, even though he can't hear you. Whatever. I'll fight you guys. Ace ruffians. Why are they holding crosses? They're like voodoo dolls. Okay, at least we have slightly better weapons for some of them. Not her, though. <laughs> Sorted curse. Watch this. I can play the screen shakes for that attack. Like it's kind of painful, but I don't know. I find it funny. Oh, he's cold. Look at my money. Nothing personal. We tanked that fire. Wait, the curse just gave him a cold. Or he's been blinded. I hear you. Think fast. I'm just gonna attack. How, so how much damage does she do now? Yeah, I'm Nanba. Oh, he's still shit damage, but that's fine. She's not much of a damager. Speaks in unholy- he just summoned that man from hell. Spoken unholy tongue. Okay, I should just use my- Here, Can I shove him out of the circle so I can get the guy behind him? Yes! It works! Oh, I didn't kill his summon. Heck is so weak. Expert hurting. I love that you can hurt them. Stop! Kill him. Or not, damn. Sorry to drag my feet. God, they're too separated. Here, just go over here so I can kill two at one. Go, go, go. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't think about the hurting earlier. No, stop! No, no, he's behind me now. Go, go, come on! Oh, you fucking idiot! Whatever. That guy just did like a pose. Yes, yeah, Tax not cutting it right now. She still can't kill him. God, she's get him, Kiryu. She's so weak right now. I desperately need a weapon for her. 
Cause it's not, it's not even enough, anything to do with levels at this point, really. Have fun with this. Okay, it's not, well, he's gonna be poisoned to death, so. Yeah, cause like, we're only like four levels off. It's just damage. Shit. You didn't die of your cold. Yeah, it, that guy's just high level or like super tanky because even Kiryu's not doing any damage to him. Can we poison you? Damn it. No, he's summoning boys. Damn it. We can get them both. Damn it. No, I'm sick. Can you please kill this guy now? Finally. <laughs> There's a lot that seems like they can summon. What? What the fuck was that? Hear you? <laughs> that was like... It, no, it's like two million yen. God damn it, that's so much. Oh, you fucking. What the hell did he do? Fuck that guy. Well, no, he's got a crown on his head. No wonder. I don't even know what it was, but it was based. It was like a one shot. He must have like a countdown or something <laughs> with that attack. Because that just being a regular attack, three levels higher. Like, there's no reason for that. Holy Dale or something. Yeah. Like some kind of some kind of death countdown that I didn't notice. Oh, there's a safe behind them. Excuse me. Can I think it's a safe without helping you. Damn it! I gotta help him first. We'll get get our money back after losing two million. Well, let's get started. Lost ten k on Don Doko. Yep. Okay, these being lower level means Sonny can do something. Oh my god, that guy just like freaking ran for it. No, not you. Now everyone's separate. Take the money. Yeah, you can put them in a bank and stuff. But that just takes so much time to like get it out. <laughs> I just don't even bother. <laughs> also, I could save scum. Here we go. Nothing Oh, can I get that guy next to him too? This is for my two million yen. Got him pissed. Piss pistol, they know. <laughs> Have fun with this. Heavy knockback. I mean, I doubt she's going to be able to do enough. Oh, shit. I doubted her. Let's do it. 
finish it. Together, we only need one Next. shot. Freeze monk, he should be igniting in flames if he's freeze. Get him, get him, get him, Namba! No, so close! Get him, Psycho! My girl. Look at that pose. Yeah, I didn't really want to help you for you. I wanted this. Should I open it? Should I open it? Iron Geta? For real, man's man. Oh, yeah? Nice. Well, this helps him and Namba. Book. What's what's white book? Let's keep going. I'm gonna save because if I need to save scum, I'm gonna do it. I should have just saved scum last time. Oh no! There's a. Was this Ramon? But there's a. Well, I don't know. There's a quick save the one. District, huh? I didn't even notice. Thinking back on it, old man Komaki used to train me here and over in West Are we gonna Park. learn double triggered times two? Duel for the ages. West Park's been gone ever since Kamurocho Hills went up. But this place hasn't changed a bit. Oh, that was a question? Oh, I don't know. I swear. From kicking you while you're down check to again. unfair matchups, even full on shotgun blasts. I remember this guy. Komaki knew how to dish it out. His methods might have been a little unorthodox, sure. But I also learned a lot from him. He was pretty aged last time we met, too. Hope he's still doing okay. Yo! The hell you think you're doing here, Gramps? That Johnny Young Bosch again? Yeah, bro, this is our territory. What, you deaf or something, huh? No, actually, I didn't. And I'm pretty sure no one else did either. The hell did you say? I find them. It's beat down time. No, they so boy. mad about. You're dead meat, old timer. Sorry about it. Now hang on. I'm a nice enough guy. Tell you what. You leave your cash with us, and we'll let you go. Sound fair? Meatchan. What a guy. I don't have time for this. Hold it. You fucking with us? Whoa. And after I was all generous and shit? And shit is a good way to describe it. Man, shut up! Alright, fine. Guess we'll just kill you. Are you sure the, the zingers? This, this song, it makes me want to play Project Crossroad. It's my turn. But now I want him as like a samurai and crap. And shit. Oh, right, level 38? Okay, this might be a bit of a battle. I should have eaten first. So, so the white book quests seem like they're always in me a fight. So far, it's like two for two. Right. Heal, heal, Nanba, step into my circle. Hi, you blue. Similar to a dragon, lots of money. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Similar to a dragon. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. I love being similar to a dragon. Where's my... Where's my... I do not like Nanba. I know, they think he's homeless. Hi, Servian. Okay, we can do this thing. Peace out, local thug. Oh, he came to me. He came to me in a dream. Get up! Damn it! How much damage that does, Yo Jarvi. That like clears them out all out almost. Haha, <laughs> get paintbrushed. Like a dragon? Yes, we got two million yen. 
Got my money back. Learning more every day. You brush losers. Just don't have enough to trouble. buy a good weapon. Learn to shut it. For Sony. The next guy might not be so nice. That's right. We're so sorry. <laughs> well, aren't you? A Is it Miyake? No doubt you oh! your share of battles. Hmm? Wait, he's gonna look exactly the same. Komaki. <laughs> I was like, I don't remember his name. <laughs> Wait, no. Are you? Are you? Hey, uh, nice to meet you. Forgive me, but have we like a big law room, yeah. Mm. I see. Live long enough, and you're bound to have a secret or two. Because he's dead. <laughs> Sorry, it seems I was mistaken. Just well, you look very similar to an old pupil of mine, but that was long ago, of course. Hmm. Is that right? The name's Sotaro Komaki. Master. Yo, is he gonna try to school. teach me Komaki stuff? I and I would be like, bitch, I already know. For quite some time. So, you new here? <laughs> Come out this way on a trip or something? Oh, uh, no, just here running an errand. I'll be leaving soon. Ah, then, while I have you, any interest in becoming my pupil? Fair chance. This guy's just offering his service to everyone. 100 times over. <laughs> You know, had you asked me when I was younger, I might have taken you up on that. And he did. Unfortunately, I've got other things on my plate right now. Sorry. Sure. Can't argue there. Well then, at least give ear to the ramblings of an old man. <laughs> For years now, I've taught martial arts to anyone willing. From ambitious youth to aimless drifter. Among them was a strong, kind man with a fist to match even mine. And though he never spoke of them, his scars were selfless ones. Intriguing as he was, I considered him my number one pupil. He even went on to influence my other students as well. Perhaps it was what you might call charisma. Of all those who came and went, he was the only one who had it. Now then, much to my dismay, my pupils tell me he's already passed away. Nevertheless, I sometimes dream of giving lessons to him once more, just as I had in West Park with all the homeless. Listen, truth is, I don't have much time left. So can I ask you a favor? There's something I'd like to do before I die. And what's that? I'd like to round things off. One final fight. A duel for the ages. Who better than my number one pupil? Oh, uh, uh, forgive me. A man that looks <laughs> like him, I mean. So how about it? Help an old man out. Uh, let me get to level 38 first. So we'll talk. I think I am 38. I can do that. I may not be your pupil, but I'll give it my all. This is sweet. How convenient for both <laughs> well, of them, then, though. I hope you don't mind if I do the same. In the name of truth, stress, Sotaro Kumaki answers the call! Alright, he's gonna give me so much money after this, I just know it. Sotaro Kumaki, I, was it down. I was also expecting it to be just Brawler. Okay. Oh, he missed! What an idiot. Oh, he's faster now, though. Should I call him Nancy? <laughs> the music right now. Ready for the knockout. Let's finish Whoops, 37. Follow my lead. Yo, attacking twice? He's supposed to be faster. Oh, I can't do essence of Sengoku. Such a pitiful display. Okay, maybe next turn I could do Sengoku. <laughs> Keeps missing. Follow my lead. All right, old man. <laughs> Call you an entire fleet. <laughs> okay, I don't think this is what this dude had in mind when he said he wanted one more fight with this pupil. 
We're just stabbing at him. Hear you, that's insane. <laughs> that's it? That whole thing and that guy took that little damage? He keeps missing. I won't hold back. Well, because his agility is getting strong. He's gonna get to the point where he's gonna never stop attacking. Yeah, we gotta we gotta poison him while we can. Get him, Nancy. A duel? <laughs> sure, get him, boys. Delivery. Here, if y'all didn't see this animation yet, it's pretty Hang sick. Up. You like crustacean Virgils. Nancy and Olivia. So she does. I love that shot. She does judgment cut end. And Olivia does. I like how like she does deep stinger. But it's kinda like it's kinda cute thinking that Nancy taught Olivia how to fight. They both pose the same. They're so cute. <laughs> my no, I didn't get poisoned. Here, I'm gonna have to. She landed for a BFF. They're so cute. It's gonna heal. Might as well. Deep Sea Virgil went ass first. It's True. Nothing personal. Let's finish this. That attack is so powerful. Alright. Follow my lead. Yo, they want ten thousand yen now? I'll just have to retrain you. Freaking scam artist. Ready for the knock. Have we seen Shadow Dance yet? Yes, we have. Oh. Healing up. No, I'm stunned. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Oh, I'm fucked. All good. Thank God. Got no choice. Got no choice but to use the good stuff. God, I can't perfect guard. Want now I'm dead. They got me good. All good. It's so hard to perfect guard that. Oh, you're fucked now, dude. It's over. It's over. No, God, I hate the, this waste of time. Yes! Oh, we got so fucked. <laughs> Got pretty lucky there. Hi, Candy! Thanks for 27 months! Wait, how much yen did he give me? How many millions of yen? 27 that, million yen? Man. What if I killed him? My, you are something. Really, you don't have much time? You're way tougher than anyone else out here. <laughs> it's been a good while since I got to go all out. No other pupil of mine's ever had what it takes. Anyhow, it seems I've nothing left to teach you. Maybe you're still mistaken, but can I tell you something? What's that? A while back, I did in fact do martial arts training, and from someone just like you. Whenever he found someone looking to get stronger, he'd always take them under his wing. This training was unique, to say the least, but his passion was unmatched. He taught me it's not just one's strength, but their will. I'm sure he's still out there holding on to those beliefs, raising others just like he raised me. Beliefs, hmm? Well, I'm sure he'd be very proud of his former student. He'd see 
a determination to lay it all out on the line for others, and the kindness needed to protect them. He'd say, you haven't changed a bit. But remember, those things can always be used against you. Careful, you don't let your guard down. Anyhow, with that, I think I've said all I need. I'll keep it in mind. Anyway, take care, all right? How sweet. I'm glad we got to meet. Thanks again, old man. Sure. <laughs> Farewell, then. Stranger, as long as these old bones hold, I'll continue devoting myself to my pupils. Perhaps someday we'll fight again, should our paths cross. Aww. Until then, keep on. Maybe he's just senile. Hmm? <laughs> Likewise. He has this conversation every day. Look at that. Aww. Guess the Komaki school's got a lot of students these days. No doubt they're all learning the same lessons I did. Frog Knight bot alert. I learned a lot from old man Komaki, and not just techniques. In fact, I'm still learning from him every day. Hold on keep a second. On keep it on, old man. Okay, I fixed it. Keep on, keep on. That was really sweet. Now we're getting so much closure. I'm like, I'm genuinely scared for how this game might end. Oh, shoot! What is he gonna do? Burp. Have awakened his body at level 6. Kiryu's guard has been enhanced to the beast style. After guarding the part, Kiryu's physical skill and his next room will greatly increase. Yeah, because he, he can do like... Oh, shit, I'm gonna die. He's gonna be able to do, uh... counters for days. Yeah, where's that briefcase? What if it's a Sun He weapon? Oh my god, please! That's just a plate! Where well, we can still sell that. Alright, Sun He has to have a weapon here somewhere. Excuse me! Skills, me. there's one. Sun He weapon? Plate? I've got someone me. It's just a crate. Oh, come on! <laughs> How much money do I have? Okay, 14 million. I would have enough to buy it. I just don't want to buy it though because it's expensive. Can't swipe to Tose's knife. Wait, I, th I think we can actually. Right? Can we like. <gasps> oh? We have our weapon. Good thinking. Good thinking. Yeah, I, I didn't- I wasn't sure about that. But I kind of didn't even think to try it. Well, we should be good now? The Champion District. This site'll never get old. It's like another town within Kamurocho. It's full of places to drink, each with their own unique character. Actually, despite how often I came here, there are a number of bars I've never- even been inside. This brings back memories. Maybe it'd be fun to do a pub crawl here someday. But you can't! <laughs> you retired due to alteritis. <laughs> no problem so far. It happens. Yes, Oliver? I heard him whine real fast. He's like, Frick. So. Yeah, because now we could probably just upgrade that. I don't know, like, if I have a lot of resources, I wouldn't mind. Oh, is this going to be the fucking thing? Sorry. One sentence at a time. One. If I have enough re resources, I'll upgrade the one I have, but I kind of want to wait until we get, like, the level, the final level of the dungeon in Hawaii. Sentence two. This reminds me of the empty lot. Yeah, because it's zero, but it's not. The Millennium Tower. 
Little age is merely a shadow of its former self now. It needs more time to recover from the past fire. Back then, as the name implies, Little Asia was a community of residents who come from all over Asia. There was no small number of illegal immigrants either, so the place was considered a gray area. But there was a man who supported the same residents every day in secret, despite his position at the police force. Panimura, yeah, I was like, I don't remember his name. I almost forgot what he looked like. If somebody asked me to draw what Tanimura would look like, I would not have- I would have drawn Yagami or something on ac on accident. Because <laughs> it's like what I would think of. But after that, we lost all contact. I wonder how he's been. Yeah, how has he been? But a former Yakuza meeting up with a police officer? That just spelled trouble for him. I'd be better off if I kept my distance. I'd hate to end things here, though. Only had a good reason to reach out this to him. Back memories. I guess you can say this is one of my regrets, too. No, oh, what if he shows up? The shitty little alley brings me back. When it wasn't a shitty little alley. Yo, Millennium Tower. No, my god, is he gonna think of. No, 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 no. He's gonna think of Nishiki there. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> like, oh, I remember punching my friend out of a window from the rooftop. <laughs> High flank. <laughs> Oh yeah, how much damage does she do now? Well, let's just... Okay, I can get three of these. Okay, she's doing more, but they are at level 40. We're, we're, slight, we're getting slightly under... or like, less than under leveled. It's still not great though, because... Shit, I forgot. I forgot to eat. Uh, because they're still level 40. It's just hard to grind because, like, everyone's way stronger. It's okay, we're getting there. I think it's fine. At least she had triple digits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's way better now than it was 10 minutes ago. <laughs> or even at the start of the stream. For fuck's sake! No, not was pissed! Here, get him in the circle. Suni, get him in the circle. Wait, that- Oh, Nothing that guy. Pluto crashed in the circle. Let's do it. No, she joined later. Haha. <laughs> 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 uh -huh. Not even phase. Oh, he's pissed. Good job, Nanda. Goth Psycho's the best. Well, it's not even Goth, just punk. She looks so good, though. Oh my god, that one guy is so close on dying. I can't shove him! Maybe it'll be okay. He resists, but the area people around him don't. Damn, that attack is so wild! Wait, dude. <laughs> dude who had a cold died. No, Kiri, be careful! His health is really low. Get him, Suni. Suni! Yes! There's more where this came from. Alright, well, we're gonna go there and there's food, so hopefully we can make it. Here, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna chance it. Oh Nanba! <sighs> Set up auto battle and anyone who's fire move will just spam that. Yeah, that'd be so sick. I have to make everyone a samurai. I think I'm gonna make Nanba that. Cause it'd be a shame to, to lose like that really powerful weapon. But also he's not much, he's not like a magic user. I mean, he is a magic user. I think samurai would be good for him. Yo, they're gonna get hammered. Wait, I didn't see the... I don't, that was not food. That was alcohol. But I also didn't see if they have, there's a conversation to be had, no? Okay. 
Yeah, I'm like getting my money's worth from this katana. It was expensive. Just a grenade. Bantam! Bantam. I'd love to have a drink, but I don't want to make anyone fuss over me. Well, we just had one, so... Aww. Long time ago, this place used to be called Bacchus. It served some great drinks. It was also the place where I met Haruka for the first time. She was alone in a bar layered with corpses, clutching a gun. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. I was shocked to see her there. She was so brave. Back then, she was just a child who only wanted to find her mother. You know, next... Next opportunity I have where I have like like a week or two of free time I'm gonna go through zero and Kiwami 1 and 2 again and then pray that 3 will get a Kiwami and so on and so on I hope that if if and when 3, 4 and 5 get their own Kiwamis they'll be different imagine being on free time I know maybe in like May This brings back. I just memories. I don't know like seeing all like the, the young Haruka and all these memories really does make me just want to play the first, like, three. And if I play Zero and Kiwami 2 again, that just means I get to do the Cabaret Club minigames again. And they... That one heavily features Majima. My schedule sucks. <gasps> okay, Millennium Tower. We're gonna bring up Nishiki. I love Nishiki. Speaking of Zero. Oh. Please, please don't mention it. I, I kind of want them to do. Now it comes all about the Majima. It's always about the Majima. I mean, he's a big incentive. All right, the Millennium Tower. This is where my fate began. <laughs> and this is where I settled the score with Akira Nishikiyama. Even though we weren't related by blood, Nishiki was the closest thing I had to a brother. I thought we could just keep screwing around as small-time Yakuza under the boss, but I don't know where it all went wrong, or if this is just the thing, way things had to be. No matter- oh, I'm gonna cry! <laughs> no matter how much thought I put into it, I just can't figure it ah, out. That takes me back. That's why I need to keep my head up until it's time for us to meet again and I can face them with pride. I'll keep on living, or at least try to. No, stop. Was there a way to prevent that tragedy? Could we have ever walked the same path together? I doubt I'll ever know the answer for sure. Let's just remake Yakuza 0 and 1. Where him and Nishiki were able to stay friends slash brothers. And things didn't go the way they ended up in 1. <laughs> of course I'm sad! There's something Nishiki did these sad memories. I wish when they made Kiwami though they would like because like they built up their relationship so much in, in Zero especially. <laughs> it feels wrong seeing him sing judgment with anyone else. Like they built him so much in Zero especially that when you get to Kiwami one it kind of just like feels like it glosses over that and I know it's because Zero came in later. But I wish they added more in Kiwami that would like link it to zero slightly more. Majima with Wesker's suit or Wesker with Majima's snakeskin jacket? I could never picture Wesker wearing Majima's snakeskin jacket. But Majima has worn stuff similar to Wesker's suit and he looked great in it. So that answer. This is now a sad stream. Where it's only gonna get more sad. Like we're in Kamurocha and there's so many memories. No, the Nishiki one was the saddest. Janelle! <laughs> but you're 13 months, we crying. Yeah, I just got a Yakuza 1 memory and it was really sad. I mean, it's something that I still get sad over to this day. So then like, the game formally reminding me just made me more sad. It's okay though, it's, it's how it had to be. No, I love you. Go we'll follow Janelle, everyone. Also, also, I saw you start at Ace Attorney for the first time. Do you like it? It's one of my favorite franchises. I love Ace Attorney. If you skip all the cutscenes, you can't get sad. Dude, you would have to skip all of this. I'm doing, like, what I'm doing right now is insanely optional. Not to me, though. It's so fun. I'm glad. Oh. We got another one. 
You'll be caught up in no time, and then you can also join me in the pleading for Ace Attorney 7. <laughs> Edgeworth gag. Yeah, he's, he's a cool dude. I'm Team Phoenix, though. That's my boy. <laughs> Edgeworth. <laughs> Oh, what's this? Looks like a fun watch. Oh, is it a movie? Oh shit, it's the zombie! A zombie film! Yeah, look! <laughs> Freaking Dead Souls. This is a pretty popular movie genre. I wonder if that's why I had a weird dream about zombies myself. In that dream, Kamurocho was swarm with zombies for some reason. An entire town was closed off to contain them and everyone still trapped inside? Left for dead. I also had this absurdly huge gun and went on a whole rampage. What an insane dream. I don't know why, but everything was just so vivid. The emotions I felt then still leave an impression on me today. Perhaps this is a memory from an alternate timeline? Huh, like yeah, right. Yesterday. That'd be ridiculous. That'd be ridiculous. Make Dead Souls Kiwami. I do like that they're kind of fitting it into the lore that it's just a dream. I don't know how I miss these two. Like, stupid. The spin-off connections are pretty great. Mandatory for the soul. I can't imagine being like a long-term Yakuza fan and skipping these. Hey Oliver, what's up? Being little again? Yo! I was in this place very recently. Is there a quest here with- in Judgment? With Kaido- with Kaito? I keep wanting to say Kaido, but it's Kaito now. Yeah, we were definitely in here with Kaito. Project Crossstone Memory, I would die <laughs> if they start mentioning every every game Kiri made a cameo in. Oliver's good. He's here now. Cafe Alps, this place has been around for a while. It was even well established before the bubble area era. I spent hours nursing a cup of coffee here before. Gotta say I'm pretty fond, fond of this place. I can't read. Memory serves all sorts of dangerous things went down here. I even remember completing my first job ever training session at this cafe. I once worked here. I can't read. I'm losing my mind. Ronald, they were the gifts up to Midnight Angel. I once worked somewhere called Tachibana Real Estate in the past. And my instructor was a man named Oda. He drilled business etiquette 101 into my head here. He was an asshole, though. I never liked him much at all. <laughs> I don't know why, he, like, picturing Kiryu call people, like, assholes is just funny to me. But thanks to him, I remember the proper way to exchange business cards to this day. This. Kind of a useless skill, though, when I have no reason to. Mean. Start showing people your business card. Can we go in the back? Oh, I think we can. Yeah, there was like a mega, like a megaphone mini game or something with Kaito and Judgment here or something. I am not playing Shogi with you. I'm not talking to you, you creep. And my boss was a bitch named Oda. Look at that trickle down subs. What? Oops. Oh, conversation? Yes, have your cake and tea too. Well, that's the only. It has to be cake and tea. It's literally the only cake and tea options on the menu. I'm calling shenanigans if that's not it. When you eat strawberry shortcake, at what point do you go for the strawberry on top? That's a good question. For last, the strawberry is like the star of the shortcake. I like to have it around for as long as possible. 
<laughs> You've got a whole philosophy on it. You know, he's actually going about it the right way. How do you mean? Apparently, eating the strawberry last is proper etiquette. What? I read in a magazine that you're supposed to leave the strawberry in place and eat the cake around it to preserve the aesthetic. That way, your last bite has everything combined. There's etiquette to eating a cake. Go through all that trouble just to eat cake? Right, Anba? I, mean, I get the logic, but I want to eat the strawberry when I damn well please. Plus, doing all that would make the cake unstable anyway. Not to mention harder to eat. I prefer to eat the strawberry first. Is there any etiquette for that? Hey, don't ask me. Not like I made any of these rules. I think we might be taking this a bit too far. If all we do is worry about etiquette and don't enjoy the flavor, doesn't that defeat the purpose? Hear you. I'd like to imagine the baker would want us to eat it how we see fit. Excellent point. Yes. Son. And you know, there's something I've always wanted to try. It feels like now might be my moment. To take a huge bite straight out of a whole cake. Not today. Not today you won't. you are like, damn, did we just say the same thing? Big mom sure don't eat the cherry first. Nope. Thanks for buying. That was great. That's certainly food. Arigato. No, thank you. Dude, that's I'm I'm definitely he knows all the right words, let's just say. He's perfect. Cause yeah, it doesn't matter. Fuck the etiquette. You're here to enjoy your meal that you paid for. If somebody wants me to enjoy a meal the right way, then they gotta pay for it. You know what I'm saying? Big Mom eats like Nanba. <laughs> You're eating your food wrong. My God, that's the that next level backseating. Backseating food. Floral microphone. That's the one. She already has that. She has two now? Psycho. Psycho has two floral microphones. Songhee, I had to borrow Chitose's weapon for Songhee. Fancy business card. Wait. I should be rich then. Put it on the card. Ah, Kamurocho. Oh, you got here. <laughs> the Tenkaichi Street Gate. You could say it's a symbol of the city. Look, that's in my sleazy district on my resort. Oh, look at him. Every time I pass through this gate, I get this feeling that I'm either heading off or coming back from a difficult battle. Maybe because this gate's always been there for every major occurrence in my life. That's nostalgic. The next time I pass through this gate, I wonder what kind of battle awaits me. Oh, The gate of beginnings. I don't understand why people misfy the whole thing to just eat the damn food. Exactly! It's food! Most food etiquette is bullshit made up by rich people to further distance themselves from the uncouth poor. Good. I, I don't want to be anywhere near those people. So I'm glad- I'm glad they made up their own rules to distance themselves from me. I don't want them in my league. What's up? You guys rich? I'm on a roll. Let's go. Hard sell me. Wait a minute. They're really low level. I can actually beat them. Have fun with this. I think they're dying, I just can't see them. Oh, they're <laughs> knocking bikes over. Death by traffic cone. Doing better than I thought. The Kazuma family office used to be here. It's been a while since I've last passed through. Oh shit, it was here. Shintaro Kazama, the only man I ever called Pops. He seemed so mature and unfathomable back then. And now, before I even do it, I'm the same age he was. Holy shit! Don't put it that that way. That was a pigeon attack, yeah. Homeless got pigeon summons. I wonder if I was a role model for someone, just like how he was mine. Of course, of course you are. Ah, that takes no. me back. That dream is long past. You're literally a role model for like all the kids in Morning Glory, like Taichi. 
Pops has always been a living legend, a guy I've looked up to for as long as I can remember. It's funny, all those years trying to follow in his footsteps, and in the blink of an eye, I'm suddenly his age. I wonder if he's proud, looking down at me and seeing what kind of man I become. He'd have to be proud! You're my role model, Kiryu, right? He's like a gener an entire generation's role model. Kiryu, you are so many people's role model, but like to the point where... They don't actually like... They don't actually- you know, more people should have Kira as a role model, but actually, like, hold up, hold to it. Because I'm sure there's a lot of Yakuza fans who are like, Oh man, Kiryu's so cool, and then, like, do nothing to try to, like, be like him. Because he really- he really is, like, <laughs> failing spect spectacularly, but still. You're still- you're still a decent human being, Alter. Think about the people who are just straight up, like, scum, annoying brats. That claim, be like, oh, Kiryu is my role model, but I don't. I'm still a fucking insufferable asshole. Like, they've learned nothing. The vacant lot behind Serena, nothing much to it. I've been here a lot. I've had, I've had a lot of meetings in this vacant lot. <laughs> yeah, see, except for some reason, I always end up in a fight here. Ah, there he is! <laughs> From one on one scuffles to all out battle royales here, of all places. Maybe this is just the ideal place for a brawl. I remember this. Like some kind of punk rite of passage. Can't go out without throwing down a Serena backlot at least once. Nope. Well, the brawl might just be around the corner. Is this man bothering you? Show me what got. It's my turn. Pigeon Storm! So close. Yo, he went the one- oh my god. He's so smart. He went for the one with the highest health so that she could potentially kill the rest with her champagne. What'd you wear an eye patch? Do you remember? Um, I actually don't. He's always had one though. I, I remember there's this there's they talked about this the the, the, the we should relish this moment. Did she just say shadow clone jutsu? Oh my gosh, she's Rizo. <gasps> Lock! Look at the shadow clone jutsu. I don't know if that actually what it said. I just saw S C Jutsu. Anyway. I think they mentioned the I thing with Majima, I just don't remember. But it, like I said, he's always had one as far as I can tell. Uh, skills? It is! Shadow Clone Jutsu! Damage is enemies at random, applying weapons attributes, or- Oh my god. Somebody get Law in here. No we found the Shadow Clone Jutsu. His eyes was gouged out when he was tortured. Majima. New Serena! Rather, new Serena. The only place in this city I feel the calmest. Nowadays, Date Sada and the Mama managed this place. But in the past, Reina was the Mama. And Yumi worked here too. Nishiki and I frequented the place even though we had no money. Oh, look at them. Back then, we just listened to each other ramble on and on. Thought those peaceful days would last forever, but now I'm the only one left behind. Oh god, no, don't say that. That's so sad. I don't think I could ever get used to this loneliness. <laughs> Here you have more friends now than ever. It'd be nice if I could just yesterday. walk into Serena, no hesitation, have a drink. He's being such a bummer around here. He's bringing the mood down. Okay, he's allowed. Star does. I have plenty of these in my resort as well. Look, it's the sheep steakhouse to the right. At one point, it was taken over by the Jingwon Mafia. Yeah, these clowns. Looks like Kazuki and Yuyo, the owner and manager, put in a great deal of effort to reclaim its title as Kamurocha's top host club. This town's a harsh place for honest folk. They've earned my respect for not only surviving, but thriving here. Actually, that reminds me. The first time I met Yuya, he came swinging at me right out of the blue. Said afterward that he mistook me for another Yakuza trying to squeeze protection money from them. 
Perhaps it's because they've got spirit. They've been able to make it out here. Hazuki, Yuya, this might be a tall order, but don't settle for being the best in Kamurocho. Aim to be the best in Japan. Ah, that takes me back. Oliver, you are sitting here so cute. What do you want? Can I have you in my lap like a little baby that you are? A baby! I know my little chicken nugget. You want chicken nuggets from McDonald's? Is that what you just said? Well, if Oliver wants, I think we should order chicken nuggets from McDonald's. That's crazy. Ow. Mwah. Habibi. Hello. Hello, my little boy. Oh, another one of these? That's a, Yeah, thanks, Oliver. That's a really good choice. I couldn't have done it without you. I don't think there is a quick save. At me. The way he looks at me, he loves me. He loves me when I say chicken nuggets. What a coincidence, because I love you when you do anything. Seriously, he does like anything, and I'm always just like, oh my god! Oh, we gotta do Shadow Clone! Alright, Law, are you paying attention? That's so sick! Oh my god, Law would be so impressed. Be speechless right about now. So you like your entire world? Well, good. Good. Good, Oliver. I am your entire world. Here we go. Maybe he's my entire world. Oliver, you are such a good boy. Spider greenies and pepperonis and chicken nuggies. How chummy Nanzo here you are. It's pretty adorable. Pompa Dork. Love it. Everyone's dying <laughs> of a cold. This will be tough. Albert, it smells like cheeseburger outside. Is somebody grilling on a Thursday night at 6.30 in February? Oh, he does anything. That's that's definitely me to him. Good boy. No lazy. Be homeless. He's not homeless anymore. He's willingly homeless, but I I'm trying to get his homeless to level thirty. I know that's my, I'm never taking that costume off, Psycho. Okay, I can probably make it. All right, what's like my smallest MP stuff that I could just use? Cause like taking up Delicious. a lot of space. Yeah, not bad. Uh, ugh. How the hell did I eat so much? Not bad. Huh, I'm fine. Well, it's here. Oh, it's for a memoir mission. All the best. It's uh, him. I, I... I can't breathe. Hey, what's the matter? You can't breathe, Are you period. Right? I'm having a fit. I can't breathe. Got it. Just hold on. Don't move. No. Stop. Don't call an ambulance. I can't afford it. This isn't the time for that. You could die. Even if I survived it, I'd just be assumed dead. If those thieving debt collectors come after me. Damn it. Then what should I do? If he's refusing an ambulance, how can I help him? Should I look for a hospital nearby? Look for a hospital. But what are the chances of finding a hospital in the heart of Kamurocho? I mean, it's your backyard. You should Wait know what Kamurocho is right like. Near. Heavy coffee? Is that what I'm looking at? I don't know what that one is. That's right. Emoto Medical Clinic. Ah. Home to Kamurocho's best physician. Who treat this guy for well, free? Well, good thing he passed out right in front of... In front of the... Uh, clinic. 
It's been ages since we first met. It wouldn't matter if all of society turned its back on you. Dakamoto doesn't refuse anyone in need. I respect the man. Good to know he's still kicking. Is he though? Hang in there, all right? Okay, check. I'm gonna get you to a doctor. You talk to him? Oliver! Oliver! What are you doing? No, Renato? Doc. Sorry to barge in. It's an emergency. <laughs> I haven't seen you in like seven years. Oh, it's a woman now. Huh? Where is Dr. Emoto? He's dead. I'm Dr. Emoto, but if you're looking for my father, he's out currently. I'm sure he'll be back soon. Then you must be. But didn't you just say Your there's an emergency? Oliver? Well, let's not waste Oliver. time chatting. What's counselor. the situation? Can the patient move on his own? A homeless man collapsed. He's having some sort of attack. He's on the street right now and won't take an ambulance. Understood. This kind of thing is fairly typical. My apologies, but I'll need your help carrying him in. Is he all right now? <sighs> yes, he's fine. He's actually one of my father's patients. This tends to happen from time oh, to time. Oh, he knows they know him. So, this time Ow, around, Oliver. it was your intervention that ended up saving him. Oh, that's a relief. Hi, so how is the old doctor <laughs> these days? Well, the years have taken their toll. In fact, that's more noticeable lately. Were you a patient of my father's? No, I'm not exactly. <laughs> the huh? side eye, right? What's going on oh, here? Oh, it's Emoto. Yo, he's looking. He collapsed after having another attack. Looking Seems the same, but the meds silver hair. That gentleman over there made me aware of the situation. Oliver? So we were able to prevent a disaster. Ah, oh, I see. Thank you. And I'm sure he'd like to personally extend his thanks when he comes to. Why does he no, sound like he wants to fight me? Oh, thanks. Earlier, and I'm it sure he. As though you knew my father personally. Well, I've heard a few things here and there, but it was quite a while ago. Hmm. Did you hear good things or bad things? All bad things. All good things. Oh. <laughs> well, I suppose I should thank my lucky stars. So, you run this clinic with your daughter Oliver? Now? Hell no. This is my clinic. She's just a busybody who barges in whenever she feels like it. What? Taken after me was 100% her idea. True, I was never asked, but someone has to keep this place running. No matter what my dad says. I've told him he can retire anytime. Yeah, but can this doctor fix Kiryu? To settle down. If Kiryu would accept it. He's being like Kiryu, but patient version. Uh, what's wrong? Uh, no, no, my, my apologies. Uh, for a second, this is I sad music you again. For someone I knew way back when. Come well, to think of it, I heard he died a few years ago. He was a legend among the Yakuza here in Kamrocho. You don't say. Well, he's dead. It's not uh, me. That voice. You even sound just like him. Uh oh. But I guess that's downright impossible. To think. I almost accused a friend of faking his own death all those years ago. Oops. Preposterous. Preposterous. Yeah. Unfortunately, you've got the wrong guy. I'm just passing through. Right. But I did haunt Kamurocho often in the past. I've heard a lot about you. In a town that only cares about money and women, there's a doctor who will help anybody in need. A man of great character. Hi, <laughs> Well, that's pretty exaggerated. You looking at me? But it's nice to know that I'm a trusted physician. What's with this heavy atmosphere? You two can just tell me if I'm in the way. Oh, that's not it. I'm so going she's third wheeling. It. You guys, take your time. It must be reassuring to know you have a reliable successor. She grew up following in your footsteps. One look at her, and you can tell how strong-willed she is. Isn't that the truth? 
Once my daughter makes up her mind, it's her way or the highway. <laughs> but that's the right attitude to have when running a clinic like this. And patients seem to prefer being treated by her rather than an old grouch like me. <laughs> These days, all anyone ever seems to ask me is when I'm gonna retire. That's a shame. Damn straight. It only gets me even more fired up. At this rate, I'll be a doctor until my dying day. <laughs> Those ungrateful patients can't get rid of me yet. It was good to see you, Doc Emoto. As someone who treats the injured and infirm, I can't exactly ask you to come again soon. But I'm here for you. Even if you're guarding secrets, you can trust me. Doctor-patient confidentiality, you know. Thanks. I might just take you up on oh. that offer. Oh. Yeah, I know. Chapter Belly. Times have changed, and even the Tojo clan is long gone. But some things never change. <laughs> Looks like I'm still no match for you. Dakimoto. Okay, so the the book ones, the white book one, it's just like to trigger the memoir. It's not always a fight. Damn, we've already did like half of the Kamarocho ones. Wait, so there's still like 20 missing. So wait, one, two. Wait, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Did I count that one? Thirteen, fourteen. So there still would be like six more I have to unlock. Maybe by like running, like if we're like only close, if we're close to it. <gasps> There's two in Children's Park. Yeah, maybe they unlock if we, when we're closer. Or we have to like get a set amount before we do them. But we'll do them all for now. Real Patient doctor confidentially, you don't know about it. Oliver, are you telling me something? Are you not telling me something? You better tell me everything those doctors told you. It's like, bye, you don't even know everything. Cup sake. Oliver, he's a good boy. Good Some random grenade. Oh my god. Alright. Are we gonna talk about Takoyaki here? There's so many things that he could bring up here. What is it gonna be? They really cleaned up this area. Talk about Club Sega. Wait, is that where Club Sega is supposed to be? It's Gigo now? There used to be a lot of homeless camping around here and there, but now they're nowhere to be seen. So pretty. I heard that the reason Kamurocha has been thriving That's recently. Nostalgic. Though personally, I didn't mind the old Kamurocha that didn't bother keeping appearances and hiding its uglier sides. It's called Gigo? Not Club Sega? No, they took it away even in the game. That's so sad. Club Sega's gone even fictionally. <laughs> Why can't- I mean, that would have been an interesting way to, like, honor it. Just keep it as Club Sega. I don't know. What do I know? Rip Club Sega. This gonna be like going to a time machine when you play, like, Kiwami. Like, any old Yakuza game. I remember this place. I'm sad he doesn't have a Club Sega one. A few decades ago, I knew someone who occupied this building, the penthouse, in fact. I don't remember this guy. Kamarocha's king of real estate, Tetsu Tachibana, president of Tachibana Real Estate. The demonstrator's power, he caused a power outage in the city for a few seconds. See, I remember Tachibana just because I know about the Tachibana and like Samurai Warriors and stuff. I don't... Seeing Kamar I do remember the dark part, the darkness. Seeing Kamarocha in complete total darkness at that time still leaves a strong impression in my memory. Tachibana held so much power, but he only desired one thing. 
And in the end, his wish was never fulfilled. This brings back memories. Tachibana, what do you make of your life? Would you say it was a good one? Most miserable family in the franchise. Is that the one with the, the secret... Secret brother, secret sister, whatever? God, I remember- it's- I'm like- it's such a vague memory, but like, I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue at the same time. Tip of my brain. Like, there's like the big reveal involving the- Like, with the watch or something. <laughs> Am I making any sense? I feel like I know it, but I also don't. What's this? This is a nice door! Millennium Tower again? Might be a symbol of this town nowadays, but it actually used to be a filthy shopping district. Yep, I remember that lot. But then a large-scale development project started. And the Yakuza spilled blood, fighting over this empty plot of land. That's like all what Zero was about. It was right in the middle of all the action. If everyone involved in that conflict could see the, this view today, I wonder what they'd this have to say. Maybe something along the lines of, you could make good money with this. They made the plot of land plot so interesting. My sisters of Langro owed the abandoned lot. Okay, I might be mixing two plot lines together. But yeah, the the whole thing with the 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 closure in Kiwami too. Oh my god, we cried so much for that. Cause I love I loved everything Majima related in Zero, and then. Getting that closure in Kiwami 2 made me freaking lose my mind. I've never had like a watch strap made me cry so hard. What is this series doing to me? Saga was so brutal. <laughs> it was amazing. That's another reason I want to play Zero uh, 1 and 2 again. Thanks, Daddy Tree. Is it here? To go inside? Or is it above? Oh, it's here. Oh, batting cages! Please tell me we think of Majima. <laughs> that was a good hit. Baseball reminds me of- Well, yes! Oh my god! <laughs> it actually does remind me of Majima! <laughs> Great Fox, thank you for the five gift subs! Oh my god! Baseball reminds me of well, Majima-san. Look, he even calls him son! I wonder if the other Tojo clan officers think so too. Look at him! No! Goro Majima, a reckless man, but one who lives by his own rules. I did call it. I can't tell you how many times he tried to kill me, but at the same time, I can't even count how many times he saved my life. <laughs> he's one messed up guy. But despite all that, he's more suited to be a boss than I ever will be. I don't know about that. Just yesterday. If both Majima-san and Kasuga could lend me a hand, I feel like I could take on the world. Say- right? That's- that's like, that's like the three captains rules right there. Majima, Kasuga, hear you. Man who does whatever he wants, whenever, wherever, and however he wants, yet also a man whose conviction is stronger than anyone else I've known. If only he used that conviction on top of his wild charisma to guide the Yakuza out of this current mess. I'm so happy we have a Majima memory. It is funny though, cause I mean, every time, like, I, I like, almost never play, like, play in the batting cages. But the batting cage minigame always makes me think of Majima. Because I feel- I swear we've had, like, 300 scenes with Majima here. It's not even, like, my first thought, like, when I think of Majima. It just- I always just think of him with it. So I'm really happy the game acknowledged that, too. He loves the batting cages, yeah. They would play the fuck out of batting cages. I'm glad- I'm glad he got to experience peak Majima game. The Yoshida Batting Center. Went to the batting cages with Son He and the others in Yokohama. But nowhere else can top this place. Now I feel like working up a sweat. Ah, that takes me back. Maybe I'll send some balls flying for old time's sake. Hit every curve ball out of the park. Wasn't a manhole? <laughs> Um, yeah, a manhole or like a traffic cone that he's sticking out of. He's starting to kick me. I think he wanted out. 
Maybe we'll have another one. Maybe we'll have two Majima memories. <sighs> Proud of what does that mean? We got with two hours of karaoke. That's all. Soapland memory. Shangri La one? I did that one. Oh, we got. Oh shit, level. F oh, I'm. Well, I should be fine. Just level 40s. Level 40 used to scare me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mentioned Ichi Rays in the soap. Yeah, I did that one. Sophie would be Majima the track. Right, that's what I was that's what I was gonna say. Like when I ran up to it, I'm like, is it a Majima one? And then it was just Kiri or Ichiban. I'm like, well that's okay. But I it'd be weird if he's just like, oh my fondest memory is Majima running through with the truck. Good times. <laughs> she probably is in Mortal Kombat. Oh, all the women are pissed. Uh-oh. Yeah, they all resist fire. This sucks. Nothing I might die. Don't get carried away. Stop getting mad! Oh, shit, she's still enraged. Okay. Good thing he's here. Have fun with this. Oh, a Cheers. 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 Oh. I won't hold back. Alright, let's let's see his summon. If he's ever like Shanby, I'm worried this can happen to me. The subjugation code's gonna ruin my life. His freaking boots. I like these endless backgrounds. They're very like PS2. <laughs> Oh, subjugation coon! He's about to get coma keyed. <laughs> the blood came out of him. This robot got so fucked up he bled. Yeah, it's like very Tekken, right? Oh, that didn't kill anyone, but it did do a lot of damage. That's pretty good. No, they all resist! Damn it. Can he... He resists the fire. The I hope I don't die. They're gonna take so much money out of me. Nice. Please don't die. Shit. Her rage subsided. All right, her and they need it the most. Try this on your side. Give it your all, everyone. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. Oh, Oliver's pissed. Okay, they're all in the circle. Hold on, Oliver. We killed one. Sonny's rage subsides. We stun. Let's try to paralyze him. Hold on, Oliver. Two seconds. Yes! Got stunned. Fuck you. Oh! Hold on, Oliver. Yeah, see, that's the carry I'm sorry about when I did it to those, like, weebs. <laughs> it was really funny.
inappropriate gestures. No, Nanba! He gets raged all the time. Okay, they're still stunned and paralyzed. Sony's not wasted anymore. Shadow Clone Jutsu. Oh, we haven't done Throat Slayer yet. Damn, girl! Of the crazy eyes when he spews flames a bit. I don't know if there's any. I don't know if he could have normal eyes spewing flames. Something wrong? Oh, good. Follow my lead. Oh, it's not gonna reach him. Alright, let me let Oliver out one second. Right, the beast has been calmed. Now, what am I doing? For extreme damage. That. No, he's been unstunned. Let's do it. Still not enough to kill him? That's right. Okay. Figured. Oh, weak to champagne. Maybe he'll reach the other guy. Sake, Greg is pissed. I won't hold that. Oh, that wall bounce is what killed him. He's- No, everyone's enraged! No, damn it, you need a heal, Psycho! Oh, he's not raged anymore. That's good, because I gotta heal- I gotta heal us three. Oh, nice, she got right into it. Please kill him. Thank you. Wait, it was just us and subjugation coon. But everyone's pissed. Pissed and drunk. So he's only weak to cold. Does he have a grapple? He doesn't. Can I use gnarly breath on him? Because he's like, I don't know, he's a robot. I don't think scent bothers him. It works! Scent bothers robots. Yeah, she's got a grapple. Time to die! Time to die! Gave the robot a nose. Much better. Let's do it. She looks so cool doing that with this outfit. <laughs> That's better. Here we go. Oh wait, he's weak to cold. Get him. I don't know if he can catch a cold though. He's just a robot. Uh-oh. We're gonna die! Oh, good. 
All good. All good. You resist it. That sucks. That attack is normally so good. All right, Sengoku, we need you. I don't care if you resist Blade. This is monks and shit. That didn't do anything. Um. Can we charm the robot? Let's. I mean, if he has a scent, or has a nose. It worked. We charmed him. He can't focus. Now we're talking. He's just a stupid robot after all. Watch Pigeon this. Storm. I just, I just need to do any of like what I believe is my best attacks. Let's do it. I don't know. Her tag team kind of sucks right now. Okay, that's so much better now. I used to do like peanuts. He's charmed! <laughs> Let's do it. No begging for mercy now. I just I have to do regular attacks. <laughs> He's immune to colds, but he's not weak to electric. Well, that's good, because she's got this, but she doesn't have the MP to use it. Oh, he broke free! He's mad now. Oh, he's going after the one person who has electric. Alright, non-bud, I need you to charm him. <laughs> Got him! Woo! You picked the wrong opponent. I have so much yen. We got a knight armor. Learning more every day. Hell yeah! Finally ranked twenty-eight. Well, that was fun. Oh, uh, remember when we fought a subjugation guy here? Oh, nice. We gave him more armor. Wait, how do I get in here? Oh, it's in the air. It's in here. There's another one. No, it must be above then. Skulls blade. God, where is this? It's just telling me here. It's up there, so I have to go that way. There's dudes on the street. Go around them. We can ego. Not Sega anymore. Classic heavy metal. Uh, yeah. I, mean, I don't really listen to it much, but I dig it when I hear it. Ah, I'm so fond of this rooftop. Still a satisfying sound. Oh, because of that. I, it is pretty satisfying. Whenever I think of baseball, Shinada comes to mind. Not Majima. <laughs> Tatsuya Shinada, man who once made his debut in the big leagues. Oh, he was... I remember him. He fell victim to a fate so cruel it'd be wrong to write off his bad luck. But despite everything, he never lost his passion for baseball. I don't think I'm capable of dedicating my entire life to one thing like he has. I respect him for that and envy him a little too. It's never too late to start trying, I is it? This. He was one of the playable ones in four or five, right? Because there was, there's, there's uh, Akiyama, Saijima, Hiryu, and which other one was in four? And then five had Kiryu, Saijima, 
Haruka slash Akiyama. And... See, those are the ones I forget which is in which game. Because I know there's the baseball guy and then the, and then the cop. The cop's the one in four, right? You start... For a tiny more of the cap. Okay, so five was Shinada then. <sighs> Those games. Oh yeah, Chil Children's Park. Wait, I was gonna eat. Five was cop. Oh, <gasps> gotta go to Smile Burger and then we'll hit up Children's Park. So, so a compilation of pound mates. I can't wait to see the other ones I can unlock. Four was Tanimura. Okay, well then that's yeah. I like how it's just easy to remember. Oh my god, go no smile burger now! Like, it's just easy to remember, like, Saijima, because he had the same deal going on. Smobber. I could def- I'm really hungry. I don't know- I could go for a burger right now. But also have a lot of leftovers I should just eat. Instead of spending money on burgers. The, there's this one place I really like to see, like, really good impossible burgers, but it's so far. So I don't think they deliver. I don't want Burger King. Oliver order nuggets! Oliver- if you want nuggets, come on right now and remind me. You forgot. Give me a burger tonight. Oh, I'm happy for you. It does sound really good. Isidia, nice. Yo, he's killing him, and then he can go right up and kill him. Let's save. Should I open it? it opens. Should I open it? We'll carry. Okay. Here. Smart robe. Not a burger. I got not even a door. All right. How good do these burgers look? Oh, that one looks so good. Get three burgers. I don't have a smile burger. Here, actually, let me see. Do I have any other? I'm gonna type in impossible. Possible. See what comes up. Get out of here. Wait, impossible. <laughs> Applebee's? Wait, craft your own burger. Can you pick your patty? You can't. Oh, craft your own impossible burger. Oh, wait, no, I've had this before. Yeah, that's so sick. I can... There's a place near me I can get impossible burger that's not Burger King. <laughs> I wish I can't order from Smile Burger. I don't have a Smile Burger. All right, Children's Park. Got to save just in case I get jumped. How do you do, fellow kids? Hey, pocket circuit racing. Mm -hmm. That got his attention. <laughs> Neat. Let's go. Let's go. Look, this is the new yeah. generation of pocket I'm circuit. Pocket circuit stadium. I do have a Red Robin. Do they have Impossible stuff? Really? Really? Rocket Circuit Stadium. Kamurocho actually has one again. Yo! Ah, Look at him! Circuit. <laughs> Those little radio-controlled race cars. It's a surprisingly deep hobby, competing against <laughs> others on elaborate racetracks. Surprisingly deep. It there is. There was a time I was the fastest pocket circuit racer in Kamurocho. Yo! Taking on all comers. 
I gotta know the kids who frequented the place through racing and mining our Show these kids they ain't shit. And <laughs> I even formed a lasting friendship with a pocket circuit fighter that managed our location. Last time I saw him was him compete against children. Luchy. Yeah, he was he was ready to show right. them out, Dad. Stop being so annoying. Let me play how I want, fighter. Hmm? But that customization you put together won't work, Kojiro -kun. Oh, he's actually Try them. Tires instead. No, let Kiri you backseat. He turns. knows the truth. Come on. Use them just once, buddy. For me? Knock it off. The tires I have are the best. They're purple. Hell yeah, Kojiro, they're cool, purple. But the color doesn't make it race better. Don't you want to stay on the track? No, I... shut up already. Fighter, you suck. Yeah, get Let's him, Kojiro. Let's find something to do at the park. Yeah, this is This guy's a nerd. Mm. Aw, just give it a little more time. It's fun. Not again. Jeez, I can't get these kids to listen. That outfit, he must be the new pocket circuit fighter. Seems like he's having some trouble too. Or I mean, also, I mean, oh, well, trouble. Better clean up. <laughs> Whoa! What an idiot! You don't just... Oh my god, this guy's an amateur. You don't drop your Ooh. pocket circuit. Sorry about that. Huh. A golem tiger. Oh? He knows. <laughs> uh, you recognize I love this so much. Hmm. I used to race here, actually. Back with the first pocket circuit fighter. Whoa. Whoa. So, my name's Muranaka. I'm a new fighter, employed by the pocket circuit company themselves. I'm... Well, as far as pocket circuit goes, I'm Kazuma. Kazuma-kun, huh? Are you allowed to say Pleasure that? To meet you. So if you knew this branch's first fighter, you must go back a while. I started in the bubble era. Must have been 30 years ago now. Got 30 oh, years of experience. That would have been the first boom period. Oh, amazing. I'd have loved to have been there to see it. Is it true how popular it was back then? I'd say so. From what I recall, it really swept the country for a time. 30 years then ago. One day, the Kamurocha Stadium was gone. <laughs> I'm surprised. Oh, that is pretty sad. Ah, there's a boom yeah, in pocket I, circuit. It did die down for a while, but recently there's been a surge of interest. The market's swelling again. On top of that, we have a new company president. He's a pocket circuit fanatic, apparently. And I'm super into it. He came up with a bunch of innovative new mixed media strategies to get younger school kids back into RC racing. Hmm, that sounds effective. The hell's mixed media? <laughs> so, what made you want to be? <gasps> that sounds fighter? great. What the hell is that? Everything else aside. Oh, I love the cars. I love it. <laughs> pocket circuit cars fascinate me. Pocket circuit's popularity was waning by the time I got into it, but I didn't care. I'd spend every afternoon customizing my rig. All of my meager allowance went toward building the best machine. Aww. I, could. I didn't have friends at school, but eventually. I met people through Pocket Circuit. It was like finding my place in the world. Oh, it was so much fun in those days. I get it. That made you want to become a fighter. Yup. It was the fighter at my local branch who approached me when he saw that I would race alone. He helped bring me together with the other kids. I Shit. finally made friends. You made friends. All thanks to him. That's the person I want to be. Someone who can help cheer kids up when they're going through hard times. That's a true pocket circuit fighter. I think that's the right idea. You're a good fit. Except, this job's a lot harder than I thought it'd be. When it comes to pocket circuit tech, nobody knows more than me. And I just want to pass on that knowledge. Teach kids the best customizations. Support their curiosity. But when I try, oh, I can't get through to them. The kids all seem to hate me. Maybe I'm Maybe just not cut shouldn't out be to such be an fighter. annoying. Now that I'm 30, it might be time to move back home. He's gonna give up at 30. <laughs> That's when you start. Are you laughing at me? Yeah, I mean, I'm laughing no. at you. It's just that back in my day, 
The fighter here was in a very similar position. Really? Because I don't remember that. He and I raced together a lot. I have nothing but good memories of him. Aww. It's been a long time, but I still consider him a close friend. You really have that kind of bond? Hmm. He was a great spokesperson for the hobby and good with kids. Still, he had his share of trouble. Ichiban's life didn't truly really start until he was 40, so I don't want to hear it. Disposable part timer. When he had 30, he had a hard time staying with it. No. Wow. What did he do? He decided to remain a fighter. He loved Pocket Circuit. The kids loved him. In the end, he couldn't turn away from that love. The kids loved him, huh? <sighs> Makes me jealous. If I only had a better relationship with them, I wouldn't be so conflicted. Let me ask, what do you imagine the kids there want from you? Me? Well, I'm the pocket circuit fighter. They want me to teach them the best way to race, don't they? That's an important part of it. The fighter should be someone you can consult on builds. However, do you really think that's what children are looking for? Huh? You told me about the fighter who helped you as a kid, but you didn't mention his technical expertise. Did you decide to become a fighter because he made you a faster car? Did you idolize him because he taught you which tire set takes sharp turns better? Of course not. He meant the world to me because... When I had nobody, he rescued me from my loneliness. I think you understand now. What is it the children want from their fighter? You know the answer, don't you? Kazuma-kun. You're right. This whole time, I've been mistaken. Pocket Circuit might be a technical hobby, but that's not its heart. It can't be only about winning and losing. First and foremost, it's about having fun with your fellow racers. I can't believe I looked past something so obvious. Oh, no wonder the kids hate me. <laughs> it's not too late, you know. Oh no, that's such a funny right. sentence. No I'm wonder the kids hate me. This time, I won't talk about wheels. I'll talk about feels. Pocket Circuit runs on love. Good. I'm sure they'll take to that lesson. Will they? Oh, thanks so much, Kazuma-kun. Fighter away! These kids are probably in Public Park 3. Maybe I'll go check on them. How does he know? Oh, no, how nice of them to give me some privacy with this lunatic. Anyway, Children's Park. Oh, the mantle! Oh! Ah, Children's Park. This place still sucks. It's such a shithole, like, this whole franchise. Nothing unusual about this park, except for the manhole in the back. Underneath is an intricate sewer system. Yes! Some might say it's just another facet of the city. One point Akiyama went into hiding there. That's nostalgic. To be honest, it seemed kind of fun. Maybe I should experience it myself once before I move on to the next life. Yeah, is that gonna be the Akiyama memory? The fucking sewer? Ugh. Oh, is there anything in this bathroom I can steal? Public Park 3. All the way over there? Kids, why are you so far? All right, let's take a cab there and then we can just... Where's that 28 for a year? I mean, that's not so bad. We we'll spend years, like, way a much longer time in prison. Like, I mean, I just mean, like, you shouldn't let that deter you from continuing with your life. I thought they were taking photos Yo, of the kids. Sick cart, short stuff. Is this limited to 60 hours in already? I guess so. Hey, give it back, please. I think like I should have more. Don't be such a greedy brat. Well, you want to get hit? What? A premium model's wasted on some dumbass kids. Wait, they're gonna steal their cars? Oh, this thing fly. But I spent my whole allowance on it. I don't care. Go away before I kill you. I don't care. Mugging a little kid for his pocket sir car? Seriously? Don't Not while I'm muscle, still alive. You scum. Huh? Yo! Is that the nerd? I think it is. Nerd. The nerd. No! Try pocket circuit fighter! And that's Kojiro kun's car. Hand it over. <laughs> Shit! Pocket jerk-off fighter's actually lecturing me. 
Why don't you crawl back into whatever boomer ass manga they cribbed your outfit from? You know, we'd put a car like that to better use than some moron toddlers. Don't you want faster races at your rinky dink stadium? Are you nuts? As if I'd let anyone who mistreats kids race on my tracks. Pocket Circuit may be competitive, but it's not the fastest who wins the day. I like him trash in the it's boomer manga. The most fun. You two blockheads don't deserve Pocket Circuit. That's right. Later. It's not safe here. This kid's just like an old woman. But fighter. Don't worry about me. Now go. Yo. Okay. Now go. He's being a Marvin. Just you and me. What a hero. Right. Listen up. You're dealing with the pocket circuit fighter now. Uh, cheap shot. So well, that wasn't that's as how cool. It is. <laughs> This nerd's literally as weak as he looks. <laughs> Look at you in that oversized chip bag. This fighter can suck my ass. For real. What kind of virgin devotes his whole life to toy cars? Have your folks seen your dumb cosplay? <laughs> <laughs> Go home. If your family ain't disowned you yet. Sorry, I'm going to make them eat dirt and fighter. guardrail. Kojiro Kun's car ended. Over. Look, he's not letting up. He's a hero. Shut the fuck up. But he still Damn looked it. cool in front of the kids, so that's Where inspiring. Is, is Listen, he doesn't have to win the fight. I can win the fight for him. <laughs> Bro, he's actually out cold. Let's team oh, I'm gonna make them eat bench. Hey. Hey. Huh? Yeah! <laughs> the, the hell? Who are you? Nobody besides a pocket circuit fan. That's right. You've both made a big mistake just now. Now be quiet and give me the card. This is so intense What's for a you? freaking toy car. I love it. Wish, old man? Should we find out? Should we Hell find yeah, out? We Let's fuck this guy up. Yeah, Johnny on Gwash does like 900 voices in this game. Sounds like him. Let's God, I'll it. never get tired of this. Yo, you're level 32, that's it? God, amateurs. You're local thugs. Wanna make your day? Pigeons! Watch this. Follow my lead. No, I wish I could go to a bench. I want to throw a bench at him. Fuck. Whatever, cutting up with the samurai sword is pretty great. How's this for manga cosplay? Freaking samurai armor. Yes! Eat bench! I don't even know where she grabbed it from! That's what I wanted! Oh my god, Sungi, I knew she was my hero. Look, this guy's running. Have fun with this. That guy's too far for me to get him. I promised them bench. I got them bench. Is there another bench? Yes! Get bench! Oh my god. Killed him with it. I Let's do it. This guy's too dazed to realize that hot ninja is just about to kill him. Yeah, Johnny up doing the young Arakawa flashback. It's pretty great. He was really good in that role. That's so long ago. I got beaten up by a pocket circuit fan, yeah. Well losers, am I right? Uh, is that you, Kojiro Kun? Yes, it's me. Are you okay? Fighter! Yeah, I'll be alright. Are any of you hurt? Uh, all because you protected us. Thanks so much. Fighter, you're so strong. We never knew. Huh? Did I win? What? Me? Well, look. Those bullies are all knocked out. 
Oh, was that me? There's nobody else around. You're the coolest fighter. Um, I'm really happy you got my car back. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's a fighter's job to keep the racer safe. Fighter, you, you did all of this for us. After I said such mean stuff to you, I swear I'm so sorry. It's phoning it in. It's okay. I promise, Kojiro-kun. I'm the one who's sorry. You only wanted to have fun customizing your kit. I tried to force my way of doing things onto you, but you never asked me to. I assumed you'd be happier if you won more often, but you were smart enough to know what matters to you. I was a crummy fighter. Life I lessons. I forgot the most important thing about Pocket Circuit. Oh, please, forgive me. Fighter! Hey, I know how to make it all okay. Let's race together. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Take us back to the stadium, fighter. Ah, oh, yeah, of course. Um, I might need to buy a couple bandages first. Can you two go on ahead? Sure. <laughs> well done, fighter. You've really earned that oh, title. He's like lurking. Murinaka kun. Hmm? Uh, President. Oh. <laughs> huh. It's him. No way. Of course. Fighter said the new president was a fanatic. Oh. I got a call on my pocket phone that a fighter was in a scuffle and rushed over. Are you all right? He was in a scuffle. Oh, yeah, I'm just fine, sir. And no harm came to the children. I see. Well, thank goodness. You did the right thing protecting them, Uranaka kun. He looks way uh, different. Any fighter worth their stripes would do the same. Uranaka kun, something's different about you. Have you found something? Yeah, you got motivation? beat the fuck up. Do you think so? Kazuma kun's to thank then, probably. Kazuma kun? <gasps> yes, sir. He's a truly noble man. And a racer since the bubble He's era. Spilling secrets. I was beginning to doubt my value as a fighter. To be honest, Kazuma kun heard me out and gave me advice fit for a sage. He opened my eyes, sir. How about that? Kazuma kun. You say he helped you through a personal crisis? Yes, absolutely. Now we gotta kill him. May I ask? Uh, it sounds like you might know him, sir. Hmm. He happens to be an. Uh, See, his photo. An important oh! old friend. Oh, <laughs> he still has, he carries it with him. Oh, <laughs> no, that's cute. Kazuma couldn't mention knowing the first fighter. He called you a friend too. He did, did he? If it's all right, sir. He did, did he? Back to the stadium. The no, now we actually have to kill him. He knows he's gonna spill the beans that um, alive. The Bakamitai photo? Oh shit. Oh, Muranaka kun. We both if you have the same Kazuma photo. Again, give him a message. I would love another race someday, friend. Oh. You got it, sir. I won't forget. See you again, Mr. President. You called me your friend, huh? <laughs> Pocket circuit sure is special, Kazuma kun. If we, uh, if I ever see you again. Let's laugh together. Let's cry. Let's shout. Just like the kids do. Like we used to back then. Let's race, Cosmo Coon. He's like, I sure hope he's listening. And he was right. Oh, friendship has no finish line. No, stop. That's so sweet. <laughs> ah, this pocket circuit quest made me cry too. Thanks, Pancom, for 11 months. Infinite wealth, my ass. We're like infinite tears. We know the truth. Yo! Oh, he's in his old outfit, too! I can invite him on my island! <laughs> I wish they had pocket circuit on Dodoko Island. The memories are the wealth. It was a different kind of wealth this whole time. Cut onions in here. I know. I don't like onions. I said it four times. <sighs> Sad anime music gets you every time. 
It's like, because you know, it's just like, pre I'm preparing you, it's gonna be a sad quest, and you're like, whatever, it can't be that sad. It's about pocket circuit. And then sure enough. Ugh. Is there a freaking- oh, damn it. Get me out of here. Photo of two dudes in their Beyblades just... Hits you in part of your soul that you didn't think it hit. Doo-doo-doo-doo-doo. Doo-doo-doo-doo. Doo-doo. We're back to the- I just associate this song with Project Cross, so now we just play with this. Alright, with these boys. Make- make these skater boys night. Oh shit, they're level 40! Freaking, how do you do skateboard? Well, oh, they're all here, for one. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. Oh, Pigeon Storm, right here. <laughs> Nama's yeah. on the guy. <laughs> no, I missed it. That's okay. Get him, Kiryu! Level 40 is not even a problem anymore. I say that, but I'm probably gonna regret it. Tobacco. Are the, are the, the men gone? What is this? Hotel what? Senior around here hasn't changed a bit. Just remember something hilarious about, about ten years ago. I had an encounter with Rukia Shimabukuro, captain of the small Okinawa Yakuza family. I don't remember him. One time we had pretended to be a couple to sneak into a love hotel. <laughs> Caught me off guard. At the time, I couldn't believe that what was happening. But looking back now, it was pretty funny, yeah. It was it pretty was funny. Yesterday. Thank you for that, Rikia. Yeah, I don't remember him. I remember that, though. <laughs> my life is more blessed than I realized. Oh, my. I can casually just... <laughs> <laughs> You're a couple. <laughs> oh, just casual rocket launchers. Oh, Pigeon Storm's very OP. Uh, that and like Burning Arrow are like surprisingly two OP skills. Why do you give Burning Arrow to Nanba? It's like him with the fire damage. I mean, I don't know if it's like more ma magic based or attack based, but as a fire icon. Oh, are they blocking? No, they're blocking my... my book. That... that was definitely a boombox. Alright, let's just save again. And then hopefully these guys aren't going to be too difficult. Sup! You're blocking my reminiscing spot! Oh, Hunk's here. Uh oh. Shit. No, not her. She's gonna die. No! I perfect guard twice and I died! Alright, Pigeon Storm, three of them. Definitely gonna die here. Destructo beam. What the fuck? This one could hunk do that. Damn. 
Miss! Oh my god, please miss. You're blinded. Thank you. Really didn't do much. What do I do? You want some? Oh, yeah. Give him hell. Bring it on. Double the I think she's yeah, she can reach all of them. Don't mind if I do my thing. I wish I can shove him back a little bit. I, that guy's stunned, so he's not gonna be a problem for a while, but I, I really wish I could move closer. Alright, Shadow Dance. Let's do that guy first. Let's kill him. Yay! He's just busy being stunned. She can't. Oh! Paralyzed him! Nice! Thank you, Swingy! Oh, but he's still active. Dude, how many perfect guards! Oh my god! Attacks like that are such shit. Oh my god, wake up. Okay, she's, she's good. Uh, Pigeon, I think I can kill or attack both of them. It's the one. There's like a really like a particular rhythm to that. Can't do it too fast. Okay, at least they're together. Nice. Okay, Burning Arrow got one. It is hunk. Here you stab him while he's down. He's not down. Oh, if he is! Thank you, Kiryu. I'm just burning. That's okay. Pigeon storm his ass. Watch this. This song's a bit of an asshole, though. Nice. Paralyzing can't move. Wouldn't it be so unfortunate if it could also give him a cold? Now let's really shake things up. Dude, we keep like shoving him down the street. Like we started the fight way over there, I think. <laughs> and we're like all the way down here now. Look, he's extra assholey in this. Okay, we're on your side, hunk. I won't hold back. Oh, it's over. It's over now. Room. <laughs> really, it's just a big room. I wish I didn't waste like the spin didn't waste so much time. Oh, I got shot. Where are you running off to? <laughs> Trying to go back to the starting area. Get him! I get so freaking pumped. Like this is like turn based, but it's, it feels like an action game. Like I get hyped just as if it was like Delmic Cry. <laughs> 
Like the, the downed attacks and like the tag teams like that really adds so much to this combat. Don't kill him! Follow my lead. I'm on it. You're gonna be in a war. Alright, Nanba. Oh, even better. Did that air kill. Did you really think you'd win? Doing better than I Woo! He only won his extraction point. Well, he got it. All right, he's dead. Oh, nice. We ended here. So anyway, back to what I meant to do. Kamurocho Hills. It's practically as big as the Millennium Tower. Back when this place was still under construction, I fought to the death with the man at the very same rooftop. I was going to say, Ryuji? Ryuji Goda, the Dragon of Kansai. I couldn't remember which building they fought in. He was powerful, more so than anyone I've ever faced before. I'd go as far as say that man was a monster. That's why... I sometimes get this feeling that it'll suddenly reappear right before my eyes, even now, because he will! Throw a Dome Cry JRPG should be a JRPG wishlist. Honestly, if they made this combat, but Devil May Cry, it would fit. Like, it's strangely just as exciting. They nailed it with this combat. Ah, that takes me back. I wonder if the kids at Morning Glory feel the same way about me, too. Oh, well, that he's gonna show up any minute. Oh my god, I'm only missing nine more memories in Kamurocho. Bye, Razor. But I only have one, two, three, four. And the rest will probably unlock later. Oh my god! We spent so much time in Kamurocho today. This is exciting. Thank you for uh, joining me in my Kamurocho journey. Okay, let's go here and then eat other go to some places. Especially crying over Nishiki and pocket circuit memories. That freaking photo. I would have been fine until you showed the photo. Sorry. <laughs> Trying to get into buildings in this game, in these games in general, it, like, you just feel like a fool no matter what. Bona? Bona? I don't like how kind of sunny sun he is being. God, Greg. Try to steal his job too. So am I. Greg's also a composer and he's getting into, um, or he would like to compose for games. And, like, <laughs> I, uh, I, I responded to his tweet positively, but it, my, my first thought was just like, oh, are you afraid of me going after your voice acting job? So you have to move to different avenues? But I'm like, no, I can't say that. I'll say that to him in private. <laughs> I don't want to say that to him on Twitter. It's true, though. It's true. He's getting scared. I'm such a good Nanba VA. Not lately. My voice needs rest, but... Let's do it. Military buffed. In for the kill. You asked. Okay. Huh? Full vocal flap control. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that's all new to me. Have fun with this. I found voice acting and sing with composing music. You could do both, but yeah. I, can... I mean, seeing how like musically skilled and talented he is too, I could definitely see that being like. Something you'd also be successful in. Level cap in this game? Probably 100. I, don't know. I won't hold that. Gilgamesh, the two with the whip, the weep It's my turn. It's my turn, bitch. Oh, bike! He's currently stunned. Get him to you. Okay, there's people right across the street from my reminiscing spot. Please don't kill me. Oh, they're so far away, never mind. What is this one? This place used to be a huge bathhouse back in the day. I guess they shut down. You know, Sono Hot Springs. It was a nice, spacious establishment. Hot baths aside. I had a lot of fun playing table tennis here. Okay, I don't- I didn't do much of that. 
Even though it's smack dab in the middle of Camarocho, every visit feel like felt like going on a vacation. Even like getting all sweaty after soak though. Feels but you like know, yesterday. going on an actual vacation doesn't sound half bad. Yeah, go to Hawaii for real. Uh oh. Run for it! Yeah, I wonder how we unlock the other stuff in Kamurocho. It has to be story related. Ooh, tuna onigiri. Maybe not, or I don't know. Memory related. What's this? Everything's been cleared out here. This used to be a hangout spot for the homeless. The average guy wouldn't even think about approaching. But it guarded a huge secret. Purgatory. I remember Purgatory. The florist, the legendary informant, oversaw an enormous entertaining district, hiding from plain sight. Hidden. Every time I think about it, sometimes I wonder if that place was even real. I can't help but feel a little suspicious. Purgatory always seemed like a space disconnected from reality. You know That's what happens to it? Nostalgic. But still, the fact that anything is possible in this town is exactly what makes it so great. I think they're using it as something else now. All right, we got two more for now. But I know, I don't know. Hmm, thank God. What's it gonna be? Hmm, this trash can. Ryujin Hall, known as the Divine Dragon to some. That's the studio of Master Udabori, a legend among tattoo artists. I had my back inked here too. First time I saw my finished back tattoo, I was so shaken up. In a world of pain, I thought I wouldn't be able to move. But Master Udabori is doing well. I wonder what he'd say if he saw me now. Would he think I'm living up to this tattoo? Aww. Honestly, I'm both tempted and terrified to find out. Of course you're living up to it! There's bullies there. Yeah, I forgot about- you got to see him get his tat tattoo. Just be mad faded now. It's even- it's not though! It's so fresh. He's been getting secret touch-ups without telling anyone. Why are you guys guarding my reminiscing spot? No! Oh! I was like running to it mashing X. Yeah, that's true. We know it's more than just a back tattoo. It's an ass tattoo and everything. Level 34 is like easy. Almost got one. Double cheeked up on Thursday afternoon. <laughs> Yeah, where's that side quest? We get to see him get his ass tattooed as well. Huh, Kiryu? Why is it so tatted? Did you request that? Tap by tap? I wonder how long that would have taken. Leaky rocket, ew. Oh my god, Kiryu. <laughs> I'm on the wall. Let's go. 
Cindy, your rocket's leaking. No! You are great. Oh, okay. God. He's been spitting. Get him, kill you. Didn't even need him. You apple. Right. Right. So the man-eating lone shark is... This is what happens when you charm my Nanba, okay? Get sliced up. Now where are you trying to run to, you coward? Nanba, wake up! No, I called your backup. Oh, he'll definitely die next turn of his cold. <laughs> or, no, Nava, don't! Don't fall for his lack of charm. Everybody, watch him die of his cold. It's so funny. Damn it! Every time! <laughs> no, he's got her back up! All right, we, yeah, nobody responds. Good. All right, bye. I don't want to deal with you anymore. Nava's free from his lack of charm. Nanba's will, like, is so weak. He gets charmed all the time. And, like, Sunny almost never gets charmed. There's more where this came from. Essence of Hellhive! I like the sound of that. Sounds like we're gonna shoot bees. I don't want to stick around here for too long. This is the same place where Haruka got in an accident. Shit, I remember. I understand what people mean now. When they say your mind goes blank. Oh. I never want to recall that incident, but I can't forget the anguish I felt hearing how she shielded Haruto from the impact. Oh, right. That's insane. She's always been a strong kid. Now she's stronger than she ever was. Than I ever was. Oh. Right. So that's what it means to be a parent. Oh, stop. <laughs> Pains to even think about it, but when Haruka got in an accident, she really lost her life protecting her son Haruto. I hold so much respect for her as a parent and a guardian. You've grown stronger than I ever could. <laughs> Let's see you on copium. <laughs> no, don't say that. Light as a, a parent. A parent. No, we got all the Kamurocho memories so far. I want more. I mean, we'll... It'll... it has to be like... Story related or... Well, I guess we can take a tax, you know? Story related or uh, like if we get our bonds to a certain level. <laughs> I'm gonna go cry in a corner. I <laughs> know. Yeah, when you get to this point in the game, you can go back to Kamurocho with Kiryu. Back to the Ichin show. But we're done. We did all the stuff at Kamurocho. Just not mini games, because I don't have time for that. <laughs> How much costs travel between them? I think it's the same. It's, yeah, it's 500. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let me go back to Kamurocho real quick, just to go back to. Well, I do have to take taxis anyway, that's part of my bucket list. Using the taxi a lot, so... Yo, I have 22 million yen now! Oh my god. Should I go- should I go back to Kamurocho? <laughs> no, you're not in Hawaii when- uh, you're in Japan with Kiryu. Um, should we go back to Kamurocho and buy the $14,000 dagger for- I- let's- we, we should at least give it a shot. Alright, Kamurocho. <laughs> <laughs> My party members are like, what is wrong with you? But they can't say it. There's this one. They can't say it because I'm sick. They're like, just do let him do what he wants. He wants to ride taxis back and forth. Let him. Bro, can I get a discount? I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be so mad when I accidentally, uh, just, you know, get a better weapon. You know, I just spent 14,000 yen on this piece of shit. No! Oh, that's still so much better. Yeah, that- so that's- okay, that's the dagger equivalent of what Kiryu has. Let's buy it. Now I'm broke. Say Earth Saver. Is 
Get one of those in the next dungeon, probably. Probably. Or at least she's strong now. Because I, I do want to get the remaining... Um... I do want to get the remaining... Memories in Eugene Show, but... They're all, like, level 40. There's only, like, three. Yo, you got stamina yes, here. Popos. Got partners. I'll take it. I'm not that broke. <laughs> Back to you, show. Bye, Kamurocho. We'll probably see you in a story mission or something. And I'll eventually do those part-time hero quests, but not yet. Okay, so we got that. And that's in front of a weapon store. We have that. That's the Shore PP one. Um, and then there's... We're gonna spend, like, after we do the book stuff that we can, we're going there. And then we'll go back. <laughs> and then we'll finally proceed with the quest. Uh, cool, then. Let's Let's just let's do that one first. Show it a peep pee. I know stupid thugs blocking my memories. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour around Kamarocho. Plenty more where that came from. Definitely have to get some food first. Get a show you. And the weaponized RC Let's card nostalgia. Oh, that I was not expecting yeah, that to happen. Certainly food. I feel like out of all the mini games I've played in these games. Um Pocket circuits, the one that I've done like the least. I don't know why. Huh, I'm fine. Okay, I don't know. Oh shit, did I save? Well, we can't afford to die now. <laughs> oh, they're level 38! Oh, this is easy. I'm getting that memory. It's just a short PP one that was level 40. Oh, she's got her new weapon Essence of Hell Dive. Let's check it out. Ooh. Oh, hell hive. Yes! Oh my god, all the bees. Look, I'm helping! I'm helping Sunny. With the buzz off one liner? That was pretty sick. And poisons and paralyzes. Oh my god, she's so cool. I helped, guys. I didn't do it fast enough. These guys are like. Because I, I tried fighting these guys like two days ago or something. And they saw me coming back and they're like, oh, well, 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 look who returned. They had no idea I got this much stronger. Stupid idiots. Okay, this stupid pigeon storm is just... They're perfectly not overlapping. I wish I could sh Oh, I can't. Oh, I can shove them. Get in there. Okay, that should be good enough. I did read the new chapter. I loved it. Did you finally read it? I won't hold back. You want So trembling. Yeah, a certain character just it might be like the strongest asset now. And I like the end of the chapter. 
one of each dish at the same time at food place? In the game or real life? <laughs> in the game, yeah, it helps get the bonuses. Yeah, some chapters are like, it, I mean, it's hard to make every chapter a banger because some chapters are just gonna have to set up things. Just like, this one was really short, though. It's show time! Yeah, like, it makes like the other chapter better when you see the payoff. Like when you understand the build up way more. I feel like that's been a lot of everything recently, like in One Piece. I feel like the last like 30 chapters they've been building up to like like two things. Follow my lead. Nah, nah, nah. We'll see. We'll see. I'm. Oh, I'm gonna talk about that spoiling thing. I have good faith in Mr. Borsellino, though. Damn it! <laughs> yeah. What was his name? Heyo got poisoned. Stupid idiot. He's doing this on purpose. He's, he's, well, listen, he's the master of build up and payoff. He's building up whatever big moment he's gonna have, whether it's good or bad. No, back up. He's gonna do some shit. Yeah, it's just a lot until we eventually get there. But when we finally get it, we'll be like, damn, remember when we were wanting it? <laughs> remember when I was playing Infinite Wealth and we were talking about maybe getting the payoff? I won't hold back. I won't hold back. Death's head? Wait, is it just. Where, where's the other guy? Oh, damn it. Nothing first. Let's finish this. <laughs> no, it's okay. Well, that's stupid because they're just next to each other now. Stupid for them. It's my turn. All right, let's finish it together. We only need one Next. shot. Pigeon Storm! Watch this. Nice. Right. Young Jimmy to a base walk. Follow my lead. Finally, my memories are free. Look, rank 29. He's so close to getting the big ass bird. Woo! Yeah, and I'm taking my money back. What's the memory gonna be? Should have known Chinatown be a good place to find souvenirs. Hmm. Ah, oh, it's this Michi again. Is this Ono Michi merchandise? Who knew he'd end up in a place like this? First time I put on that suit, I never thought you'd end up a nationwide phenomenon. I honestly didn't either. Guess it's due to all the love that was put into him by his creator, Hironaka, people of Onomichi. I remember this. You know what, Kiryu? I remember this vaguely, but I also, but not really. Okay, I'm missing one from this tab, two from the sec, six from the second tab, and then eight from the last tab. Finally got that memory. Wow. You're telling me. If those motherfuckers weren't level 39 guarding the door, I would have had Yusaku's short sword, which I currently have. I would have had it here. God damn it. I knew. I knew. 
Anyway, we still got it. Is that the was that his little speech? Yeah, I, I forgot all about that. Oh yeah, we still have to get um Psycho's stuff. But there's only like two? Oh, is it just those two? Okay, well then we get the short PP thing. And then we'll get the psycho things on the way. I hope that's enough. And then we can spend the rest of the time at the bar. I was gonna say, if you memorize the whole thing, I'd be very impressed. Go to PP. I love how it makes so many side quests canon though. Like just getting little references like that and then um, like just having Nancy. Like from seven. I mean, you get, guess you could just assume every side quest is canon. You just some people might just like not realize it. Wish I could memorize it. Assume I the boots. That's put that on your bucket list. Remember the Onomichi slogan thing. An actual bucket list. Thanks for buying. That was great. Certainly food. I don't like her starting to sound even more condescending. Alright, team. Shori PP is next. They kicked my ass last time. It's well it's not the cultists. It's it's people who are like bullying the cultists. Because they're like the cult is anti-cult, but it doesn't make any sense to me. Like how I get the logic, but I don't understand how it's working the way they're intending. It's certainly food. She's so condescending when it happens. Alright, you shorty weirdos. Can I just skip it? Because we watched it yesterday. Or, well, last time. Yeah, here's here's the guys. Alright. Wish me luck. Level 40, though. I feel like I'm so much stronger now. I think we could do it. Holy crap. <laughs> Wait. It's like side mission level 40s are weaker than regular level 40s. Yeah, they all got paralyzed. Well, most of them. Right. Yeah, it was like 32 last time now, look at me. Uh, now that's something I could personally reminisce. Remember when I was level 32 and getting my ass beat here? I <laughs> the way Kiryu looked at her. Why'd you get hit? I think that might here. I need you to go. Well, you know, you're good. You're in it. Have fun with this. Have fun with these pigeons. This brings back memories when I was eating shit. Oh, that one's still alive. This is going way, way more smooth than last time. Alright, you're fine for a bit. You're gonna get poisoned. I'm sure you just knock him off the bridge. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, we'll just kill him. Cause one dude's poisoned. He's paralyzed. He can't move. She doesn't have a grapple. Whatever, just hit him. Team is awesome. He's just gonna die next turn. All right, we'll we'll spare you from dying from a cold. Yay, we did it! We made up for it. Can Anba be ranked thirty yet? Excuse me, but would you happen to be Kiryu-san? Nope, not we me. We first met in Onomichi, correct? Nope. Where we dismantled the cult together, you and I. Never heard of you. You've changed quite a bit since then. I apologize for not recognizing you right away. Sorry, but you got the wrong guy. My name's not Kirio. What? It's not? That's... That's impossible. Strange. What is? When I said I was atoning for my past sins, you believed me even though you had no reason to. You could have told me I was just all talk, 
Considering the fact that I did time for fraud. And Ohana was gonna get so pissed when he finds out many people do all the live. Then it makes sense why you trust my word. Kiri is the only person on the planet that would believe your cult in bullshit. Hiroshima. You gave me the push I needed to walk the straight and narrow. I've only gotten this far thanks to you. We'll stop. Do you happen to remember Kiryu son? Stop calling. What you said before we Stop saying that so loud. Days? Again, I'm sorry, Munan Suzuki san. You've got the wrong guy. I should go now. Wait, please, Kiryu san. It is you, isn't it? Dude, stop saying it so loud. For us to have met here of all places, it must have been divine intervention. How do I appear to you now? Do you believe I truly am atoning for my sins? If there really is a divine being out there, I'm sure he'd be lenient on a guy who faces his sins head on. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> so it really is you, Kiryu-san. That's the exact same thing you said the last time we parted ways. Thanks for the update. I forgot he said Sorry, that. Sorry, Munan Suzuki. This is all I can do for you right now. Good luck. What a powerful exit right now. Yeah, I love all the callbacks. Repenting for the past. That was a good one. No, I don't, Onyx. If you link it to me, I can add it. Moon on Suzuki is a streamer now. <laughs> I was surprised at first, but I guess that's how he's trying to atone for his past crimes. Seems like people have actually been saved by his videos. There really is a divine being out there. I'm sure he's watching over you. That's actually... That is really sweet that he said... He, like, actually remembered the last thing he said to him. Or maybe Kiryu doesn't remember. It's just, like, that's just his personality. He just says that, happens to say the same thing again. I like to think he remembered, though. And that was, like, his way of telling him. Or reminding him. But also, at the same time, if he lets it slip that he's actually Kiryu, then there's gonna be trouble. Like, I'm letting too many people know that I'm alive. Okay, just because it's gonna bother me... I'm gonna do that one, that part time hero, real quick. I'll do that one because it's on the way up to that. And then we'll get that. And then we'll go to the bar. And then we'll get all the drink links. And then we'll finally progress the story. I'm gonna save myself some time, though. These memory pictures and Kenzan Ishin are there, yeah. Is it just a dream? This game has a story and it's great. This game's story is you get to hang out with Kiryu before he might die. I don't know. Alright, tell them you're just doing a bad job proving that you aren't him. Exactly. That's what we're gonna tell Hanawa later. I didn't tell him I was Kiryu, son. Let's do it. Stop moving, stop moving. Here, get in there. Hurry! No! He got out of it. His, his name is banned for Lunos Kiryu. Thanks, Sonic. Certainly at it. While she's. No, I missed the square prompt. That's okay. And that is it. People run cry. Does he fall at the end? That's so sad. Oh, poor dude. Alright, um... The knock here, you! Shadow clone dude too! That tag is really cool. Stop asking me if I'm here, you. I'm not him. Can I please get the last guy at the end there? 
I don't know if it'll reach that far, but... It does! Got Nanda. Really just these to need health. Oh, someone's got a cold. Should heal before it's Psycho's turn. But that guy's. Who's gonna go next? That guy? Oh, I don't know if she'll be able to kill him. Probably not. Oh, he's gonna die of poison. Haha, <laughs> stupid idiot. Die of cold. Yeah. Okay, and then Psycho can go next. Cool. Psycho, what are you doing? And she can heal. Magical concert. I know. Punk Psycho is. Just, it's never coming off. I feel so heavy. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I don't even care about if it's class appropriate. Which kind of still is, because if you guys are familiar with Nana, one of the, one of the characters named Nana is a punk rock singer. So Idol is the closest class to that. She looks just like her. Cool. Uh, is there any food places here? Go to that one. Die on the way there. All right, we'll just go here because the food places are there. Ooh, in this place? They suck. Oh, seafood a la carte. Lobster. Shrimp. Seafood. This is so fancy. Alright, combo time. Oh. The grilled lobster is a masterpiece. That looks so good. It smells really great, too. Well, you guys ate sure Nancy's is. family? But I wouldn't serve any to Ichiban. Why? Are you guys fighting? The Nancy? No, you got it all wrong. It's just that he's got a crawfish named Nancy, and she's basically the love of his life. Oh! Well, surely he's not that sensitive, right? Isn't there a clear difference between a pet and a meal? You would think so. No. For whatever reason, Kasuga actually took it upon himself to save Nancy from being eaten by this one homeless dude. He even traded a premium sushi set for her. So she was originally meant to be eaten? Huh. I still can't understand what was going through his head, though. You know, he even brought that crawfish with him to Hawaii. <laughs> he really cherishes her that much? Yeah. Then there's no way he'd accept being served a meal like this. Now that you mention it, What's Kasuga's favorite food? He seems like the type who'd eat anything. It's lobster. What? Well, forget what I said. That guy will eat anything. Jeez, had us worried for nothing. It's lobster! <laughs> you have a pet crawfish! <laughs> that was great. <laughs> oh, man. Really going in circles just for that. You know, Psycho could have spoken up the entire time, but then she's just like, "No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this go for a bit." <laughs> the itchy brain strikes again. Who's the real winner? The food we had at this one place a while back was fantastic. Oh, it must be nice to be filthy rich and eat like that whenever you want. Oh yeah, you sound jealous. Well, who wouldn't be? I definitely am. Oh, I bet I'd probably get Oh, thank you, B, for 66 out. months. So maybe I am jealous, but it's not. Beef's like law alert? Oh, really? That is perfect timing. This old timer, right? He was just told me eating lobster. Hard ever since. And what's that? Yeah, rich him. Pay for my social. It's very so funny that she's really one of on top. How about that? How about that? Uh, the man's got a point. Just me. Oh, brother. 
Yo King. Who's the real winner? Okay, we'll do that one. Don't haggle. Thank you, Alter. 42 months, tier two. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. This is like a random 8.13 p.m. Yeah, that- This is why, like, the dinner stuff is so funny. I want to get more of that, but I always feel like I miss them. from my marketplace app. Guess the bidder wants me to lower the price. <laughs> what, they trying to haggle? Yeah, it's nothing I'll miss, so I can lower it to... Wait, they want half off? <laughs> In their dreams. You gonna turn them down? Yeah, I'll be losing money with the shipping costs. Ah, maybe you can buy it, Kiryu-san. I'll do half off for you, no problem. Yeah? And what would I be buying? It's a facial toning device. Right. Things are going well. Right. I've really gotten to know them. Take your outfit half off. Ayo! There's one more, and it's on the way. Yeah, party members talk so usually not just saying dumb shit, everyone roasts to him. I like when they talk about Ichiban, though. Because they're always like... I don't know, you can tell they're friends. It's, it always just feels like... Genuine friendship. Genuine conversation. Yoina. It was okay. It was, it was a fun... I'll never play it again, but it was a fun one and done. Well, let's get started. It's my turn. Bob, Kata. Oh, weak. How are you? Talking about their mutual crazy friend, right? This is what friendship's like? Yeah. Friends defending your your choice of foods because you're pet crawfish, only to find out your favorite food is adjacent to that. Classic. I have those conversations all the time. I don't. Okay. Cool. So is that all of them? Did I do all the part-time heroes in Yokohama? Where's... Whoa, I did more than I had to. 27 out of 20. Mimosa waste and then beat up people on the street. Yep, that's... A very true, authentic friendship. Uh, these Yakuza games. <laughs> Where's here? Whatever. Psycho in the rain. All right. Psycho in the rain. Whatever. Whatever this quest is, you have to do the, with your closest friends. Let's figure out what it is, though. Girl, that little kid looked at me. She's like, "Oh, is that here you?" Wait, picky eater. Is it about Ichiban? You know, I think Adachi-san and I once had a good talk about mushrooms around. If I recall, he doesn't care much for shiitake mushrooms. I wonder if that's changed at all. Adachi-san doesn't like shiitake? Well, he's a full-grown man, right? Not like he'll grow out of it. Yeah, sometimes you end up <laughs> liking he? what you hated as a kid. Is there anything you're not big on, Kiryu-san? Oh, that'd be... Uh, uh, you know what? Never mind. What, was that a pea? Peanuts? Piranhas? Pyramid cheese? Did you make that up? Anyway, I was gonna say peppers. Pyramid cheese. Bell peppers. He doesn't like peppers? Even as an adult, people tell me not to leave them on my plate. It's not that I can't eat them, though. Huh. Never took Kiryu-san for a picky eater. Huh. Maybe next time I make Hamburg steak, I'll chop some up really small and That's evil! Huh? That's what moms do when they want their kids to eat their veggies. Kiryu's not exactly a little kid. Who knows? Maybe I'll actually like it. Wow. He's actually on board. I'll make it for everyone sometime, so let's plan on doing that soon, okay? Yeah. I'm sure Ichiban would love that too. He would love that. That's... I mean, that's cheating, because anyone's gonna like food, even if you don't like it, if it's chopped up real small. Easily as crazy as Ichiban. These people can't like exist. I believe it. The cutting pills for dogs. It's right, Oliver. You hear that? 
All right, our last bond with Psycho, and then we can finally go to <laughs> survive for the next like three hours, probably. I notice it's been pretty sunny over here. Maybe because of all the rain back in Hawaii. I actually really like the rain. Same. Oh, is that right? That's pretty rare. Is it? Well, to be more accurate, it's not the rain, but the umbrella. I've never used an umbrella in my life. Stepping out with a fancy umbrella, so I think That's rainy days are great. I get what you mean. The rain can be nice now and again. I once owned a really fancy umbrella, but it was no match for the typhoon that day. Who goes out during a typhoon? <laughs> All right. Probably wants to try to fight the typhoon. No, I've, I haven't used an umbrella in like a long time though. I don't mind the rain. I just put up a hood and walk in the rain. Oh, okay. Just rain. Just rain, y'all. We did it. Here you, son. Feel like taking a break? Nope. But sure. You feeling tired? Oh, I'm just in the mood for something sweet. How about Plage? They make the best latte. Plage? Then that's where we'll go. He's so sweet. It's just like, oh, you want to go there? Let's go. He's so sweet. Oh, is this here? Walk and talk finale, Psycho. All right, I forgot about that. Stormy, windy rain. Wind's kind of annoying, but I wouldn't mind it. As long as it doesn't take my power out and I could like be inside and listen to it. <laughs> Such a, what do you like? <laughs> umbrellas. I know it is weird. You like umbrellas? You go out of your way to like umbrellas? Is this the plage? Oh, when that pushes your hood down. It's not so bad if the wind is pushing like your hood down, but like if it's pushing it like the wrong way, that's so annoying. Like, pick the wrong angle. Psycho, want to take a break here? Psycho, would you like to take a break with me here? Like inviting her here? She invited me. Mm, it's so good. I just love how creamy they make them. Do you come here pretty often? Oh, not too often. This place is still pretty new, after all. It's not like I've been coming here my whole life or anything. That right? No, well, either way, it's a good spot. Isn't it? My first time here was with Ichiban and Adachi-san in the game. We were just checking it out. I might not have even come in if not for them. I kind of have a hard time trying new places. I see. Yeah, same, well, Volvagia. It's hard to have a bad time at your favorite spot. Great. <laughs> but you can also make God. new discoveries with your friends. I wouldn't have this nice latte if not for you. Yeah, that's It's true. like a bond, the guys friendship bond thing. All sorts of new places. Huh. It's weird it's in first I person. a good friend who'd do the same thing. <gasps> he really opened my eyes to the world. Having friends like that can make Kishiki? the world that much bigger. Treasure every moment. No. And your friend? Are they? You know what? Never mind. You're right. Every moment. Nah. Uh, I guess I derailed our cafe conversation a little bit. Sorry. No, not at all. I love learning about you, Kiryu-san. So I'm always happy to hear more. About me? Well, all right. <laughs> the circle option is so funny. Oh, you want to learn more about me? All right. Do you know I like riddles? <laughs> That's so random. I'm picking it. You know, I'm a big riddle guy. Ah, somewhat uh, of a riddle okay. guy myself. Well, do you have a good one? What do a latte and a minor league baseball player have in common? I don't know. Uh, all right. What is it? In the end, they're both just a cup of coffee. I don't get it. <laughs> it's a dot dot dot. Oh, right. Someone tells me she didn't get it. I didn't get it either, Kiryu. But Look how- no, I was- He was so proud of it too. In the end, it's a cup of coffee. And then just nothing. Kind of hoping to hear Riddle your me thought, this, Sachan. I don't know if a riddle says much. No. It says he's weird. It's perfect. It. <laughs> You're surprisingly playful, Kiryu-san. As long as you enjoyed it. Oh, I know. Why don't we take a picture? Taking pictures at fancy cafes is really trendy, you know. Sure, that's fine. Meaning they don't last. You're supposed to do that before you drink your latte. I see. Oh. Uh. Well, 
Let's just forget about the rules for a sec. All right, here goes. Selfie time. Oh, that one's cute. <laughs> it looks so weird. Mm. Not like bad words. <laughs> not exactly a masterpiece. He's always like out of place. There, right? Let's keep spending time together, whether that's talking, walking, or taking more pictures. Okay? Yeah, looking forward to it. He's so sweet. We've a, a hundred. We've added to the bond bingo. Cool. We finally did it. Now we get to go back to survive and listen to them talk for like an hour because I probably have unlocked so many bond links. Let's just check, make sure there's nothing else on the map. I think I might take this opportunity to heat up food so that while we're listening to them talk, I can eat. <laughs> now it's time to bond even more. Now where it's like the payoff of the bonding. I think that's a good plan. Let's at least go to survive. I'll heat up my food. I was gonna order food, but I'm just gonna eat my leftovers. I gotta stop spending money. Wait, where's the... Oh, there it is. Oh, are we gonna... Wait, is it... Oh my god, is, it... is the reminisce gonna be Kashiwagi? Because we're just freaking creepers through the window? Please let it be about Kashiwagi. Damn it! <laughs> Survive. It's a great bar, but it doesn't hold a candle to Serena. Heh. <laughs> I let loose a little bit too much last time and sang like crazy. No, that's not too much. It was perfect. Look at him. I had to look. He's reminiscing about something that happened like yesterday. I had to thank Nanba and the others for hanging out with me. They should thank you. With that said, karaoke really is a mysterious thing. It's nothing like working up a sweat from fighting or hitting the batting cages. Sure, you still feel exhausted, but in a pleasant way. What's really fascinating is how you might even catch a glimpse of someone's true colors depending on what song they choose that's to sing. Nostalgic. Oh, right. I was the only person singing back then. I'll have to listen to everyone else picks next time. Oh, that one was sweet. We completed the first one. All right. Well, it, I, I was scared about triggering a cutscene, but I triggered it myself. Look, there's hearts everywhere. Nanba, Sai... I saw uh, her. Not him. <laughs> I, I really imagine Carrie is staring through the window. God, that's so funny. All right. Okay, I'm gonna save, heat up some food, and then I'll eat while they talk. And if anyone needs a break before it's like an hour of story time. It's probably going to be an hour. I don't know. We've increased their bond a lot since we talked to them. So here's the space alien. Did you see he likes riddles? <laughs> Just a very alien thing to say. Oh, you want to learn more about me, do you? Do you know I like riddles? Like, no, I guess I never really thought of that. Oh, oh big stretch. Oh, my back. <sighs> I do like riddles. Okay, I will be right back. Welcome. Oh, God. He wants to talk to me first. Uh. Oh. <laughs> An order from him. Oh, uh, will he like me if I order one from. of everything? For no reason? Bon it? It? Talk to me! Oh, that was that great. Was certainly food. Thanks. Oh, that's it. <sighs> okay, start with Sunghee. Begin drink link. Okay, we're gonna be here for like an hour of talking. Probably not even kidding. Actually, time it. 8.32 p.m. Sunhi, what happened with that small fire? The one where the Liu Mang set fire to Komijol turf. Oh, thanks for your concern, but I'd rather talk about literally anything else. There's some dissent within Ijincho, just something I have to deal with as a leader. Just nothing you should be worried about. No can do. You shouldn't have to shoulder that burden all by yourself. Why don't you lay it on me? You mentioned before there aren't many people who can drink with you as equals. I did say that. Always have a noise reduction on. Ugh, screw it. There really is no winning with you. Honestly, I didn't want to air out our dirty laundry in front of you. So it was arson. 
But nobody saw who did it. Right. All we know right now is that the culprit was fully aware they were setting fire to Comey Jewel Turf. Don't you find that a little strange? Well, how so? If I remember correctly, your subordinate didn't hesitate to tell you that the Liu Mang was behind it. But how could they call them out without an eyewitness account? So you've noticed. Impressive. Uh, long story short, the accusations against the Liu Mang are false. There's no evidence pointing to the perp, so it's all bullshit. But someone managed to escalate that BS to me without having to go through any filters. That's the real Is that problem. a mole? What do you mean? I'm saying the lie originated within Comey Jewel, among the top brass at that. In other words, one of the Comey Jewel officers tried to deceive you with a false report. Precisely. He probably made his underlings start the fire, then spread the rumor that the Liu Mang was behind it. This act of betrayal only serves to escalate tension between Koma Jewel and the Liu Mang. I can't turn a blind eye to it. And yet she's just drinking here. You're right. One wrong move and it'll lead to an all-out war between the two of them. Truth is, some people aren't too happy to see Komi Jewel and the Liu Mang getting along. By deepening the division and sowing discord, they'll be able to pin the blame on me for failing to take action. That's the traitor's end goal. He wants to chase me out and seize my throne to rule Comey Jewel himself. You managed to That's not that gonna out. happen. Then did you find out who the traitor is? I did, actually. He got Already? sloppy when leaking the rumor. Are we might Turns to help? out the traitor is the eldest of Comey Jewel's officers. His name is Han Chulsa. So, that's him there, huh? One of my great and wise uncles I've talked about before. Oh, the betrayal. <laughs> At his age, he should be thinking about retirement. Guess he wanted to make a name for himself before going out. By betraying you, no less. If he's the oldest, then the two of you must go way back. Can't believe the penguin betrayed Son Yu. I'm sorry to hear that. I understand why you didn't want to talk about it now. Yet I still opened up about everything from start to finish. <laughs> Just how do you do it, Kiryu-san? I only hope you feel a little better after talking about it. Ugh, this is such a mess. I really didn't want you to see me like this. I can't believe I just spilled everything to you. Was Han Chol-sa dissatisfied about something? I doubt he'd plan a coup for no reason. I can't think of anything. Except for the fact that I'm younger than him, and a woman. Considering he's a man who's faced countless adversities in battle, perhaps he doesn't want to end up under a leader like me. Most old men probably would think so. I've received the same report from different sources stating that Han Chul Sa is secretly rallying people to rebel. Saying crap like Sun He is capable for a woman, sure, but weak willed, and other Doesn't people have a are weak more will. suited to lead. So he's been working the rumor mill. I can find out anything and everything that happens in Ijin Cho. Han Chul Sa won't be able to keep up with the information warfare. But people look up to him as a legend of the past. My generation grew up listening to stories of his heroics. He once fought to the death with the Tojo clan back in its heyday. I never thought he would ever become my enemy. A man too full of pride is a man stuck in time, unable to move on. Nothing more than a relic of the past. Huh. Yeah, that old man's far too reckless for his own good. Oh, but he's older than you, Kiryu-san. Much older. You're not even in the same age group. You don't have to force yourself to say that. More <laughs> what do you plan to do about him? As the head, it's up to you to decide how to deal with traitors. See, this is exactly why I didn't want to talk about this with you, Kiryu-san. Truth be told, I haven't made up my mind yet. Mm. It's a tough call to make, given how complicated the situation is. A leader needs to be able to make snap decisions for the good of the organization. 
I just, I need time though. This is a difficult situation, but knowing you understand that is reassuring. Thank you, Kiryu-san. Sharing your suspicions with someone else does help clear things up. Yeah, it certainly seems so. I'm sure you have other things to do, though. Your own problems are even more pressing than mine. I don't want to cause you any trouble, so... So? Can we just drink and talk about something stupid now? Sure. What better way is there to booze? <laughs> you really do get me. Always have. They just met! Always! Always as of a couple of days ago. Except for when we briefly knew each other three years, four years ago? Okay, part two. No, this is a different pro tag. This game has two pro tags. I'm eating leftover pump cow chicken. Got it. Thanks for the report. I'll be there soon. You guys have to stand down. We won't come out of this unscathed. Considering we're up against Hanchel Sa. What's going on? You were just on the phone with a subordinate, right? <laughs> Sorry? I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, um, I just finished my drink, so I'll be leaving now. Wait, Sunhe. It sounded like you don't have enough hands on deck. I'm the queen of Comey Jewel. I always have enough hands. That's pretty badass. Suzuki-san, it's rare for you to be stood up. Oh! I doubt I even had a chance. Do you happen to know anything about what son he is dealing with right now? As much as it pains me to snitch, it seems that a hostile faction in Comey Jewel started an insurrection. An insurrection? About ten of them, all led by Han Chiu Se, have been attacking one Liu Mong shop after another. It's likely they're aiming to start a war as quickly as they can to try and overthrow Sun Hee San. <sighs> Things have already escalated that far. As the queen, she needs to bring Komi Jewel under control herself before the Liu Mong retaliates. Which Liu Mong spots are they hitting up? Do you know where they are? I take it you and It's probably her last bond, right? There? Of course. I understand how you feel. But you ought to know that Sun Hee San can't accept an outsider's help. Unless she demonstrates authority and resolves this situation herself, the same thing will keep happening. Please, time is of the essence. There is no way I could relax and knock back some drinks after hearing all that. That's not the only problem, by the way. I've noticed she's been trying to act tougher than usual whenever she's around you. My guess is that she wants to look more put together in front of her hero. Aww. You should be more considerate. Take her feelings into account. You always take feelings now is not the time for <laughs> into that. account. Oh, right. I do have something that could come in handy. <clears throat> Bro, what Wear she this do? and you'll look like any other Comey Jewel. Sun Hee San won't even bat an eye. I don't know about that. That's genius. I owe you one, bartender. Yeah, it's the tension between them. I don't know about it working. Like, he's still very much Kiryu. <laughs> this guy- This guy is so bad at hiding his identity between fake names and masks. Like, he's still so obviously him. I have always thought of you as a hero. Why would you do this? That's right. I am a hero. But should a hero to spend the rest of his life under the thumb of a little girl. Look at him. <laughs> Only a man of brute force, undeterred by bloodshed, can rule the Like other that strides like nobody knows I'm Kiryu. I'm taking what is rightfully mine. So that's Hanchosa. Please change your voice. Don't your underlings make for a pathetic sight? They actually thought they stood a chance against me. 
arrogant greenhorns. There's no soldier worth his salt within the present day Kobe Jewel. I've spent my days wreaking carnage during the Tojo clan. That's not here, you. I don't know what you're talking I about. I've changed to this pitiful organization of yours. <laughs> What's so funny? You, Hanshul Sa. <laughs> You've gone senile. Sounds like you're under the impression that you could beat me. If only by brute force. This guy thinks he can beat her. Of course I can. But I'll let this slide. As long as you get on your knees and surrender. Then swear to all of Ijinsho that you're relinquishing your post as Komi Jewel's commander in chief. Hmm, that's all? Anything else? Let's see. Ah, uh, yes. Strip off your clothes when you kneel. <laughs> Imagine. The Queen of Komi Jewel surrendering while new. Don't you know? The common man loves a good show. You were never one who served to please. Huh. Good to hear. Huh? The proud warrior I once knew is dead to me now. And the lowly, boorish man I see here is nothing but a shell of his former self. Now I have no qualms Get his ass. out punishment as your leader. Foolish girl. You only have a single underling left. Oh, yourself. she has no idea we're here. You can't win. He's like, hey. Don't listen to him. I will win. Even if I have to fight alone. She not recognize him? You want to run now, Oh my god, I can't believe this is working. No, I cannot do that. Whatever you decide, I'll see it through to the end, Sunny. Hmm. That voice. Oh my god. Don't pay me any mind. Huntrol Sa is approaching. So please brace yourself for battle. Right. Look lively, men. It's time for a new era. I can't Down believe it's working. Queen. Anyway, this guy, this dude's he's gonna I wanna gut him. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa! But it's it, it's the outfit! They're both hammered. That's so cool. He's wearing a suit because it's like it's taking their class in effect, but like the fact that the mask is like a unique outfit. Interesting. Um, I wonder if she's gonna recognize these abilities. They're all dead, by the way. <laughs> the fire is so good. Did you really think you'd win? It's like that move. I recognize it. How could I, the Hanshul Sir, have lost? Anyway, got him! Not enough to kill him. More judgment, I'd say. Or embarrass him. It's just too bad for you, I mean. Age has not been kind to you, hmm? <laughs> Since you messed with the Liumong, I'll just hand you over to them so they can decide what to do with you. <laughs> Unfortunately... That means I can't guarantee your life. No, please. Oh, Sunny. who's begging now? It's time to strip. I was in the wrong. Get your hands off her, first of all. Strip. Yeah. Second of all. All right. Now gut him with underworld. your heels. You can't play ignorant and expect to get away with it. You were the one who taught me that. Grab hey, it. you. Thanks for the help. You really saved me back there. I didn't know we had someone like you in our organization. I didn't know we had Burning Arrow in That's our organization. An honor to be of service to the Queen. Why don't you take off your mask? My apologies, but it is more imperative to tend to the injured as soon as possible. Pardon me, ma'am, but I should go look for help. Fine. Go on ahead. Silly. This is not, it's not burning arrow, it's flaming arrow, Have you and been my name drinking is here Doryu. Ever since I left earlier? Oh my god. Here you son. A long drinking session is Sunny, please. good for your health, you know? It's fine. I didn't drink that much. Then I guess I'll take this seat. <laughs> so did the bartender She knew the Comey Jewel mask? Sorry, I am. No idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, looks like I made you.
Who's worse? Her possibly not getting the disguise or him who really believed in the disguise? Because he's 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 still keeping it up. He's just like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, come on, dude, the jig is up. Just freaking spit it out. Worry quite a bit. <laughs> I, I think but if that's how totally you him. It, I'll play along. He's like a little right kid, yeah. Her? You got involved too, didn't you? Literally like, you can't see me. I'm afraid I'm just as in the dark as you Oh, are. whatever. All of you are sure, such bad liars. You God, neither of you open up about your past or your secrets very easily. You two are certainly veterans in that field. She's got to gut him out of them. drink, Sunny. Just relax. Try not to give the bartender such a hard time. You two might be the only ones alive who'd treat me like a child. Uh... Again, perhaps that's why I'm rather fond of this bar. To good friends and good drinks. Cheers. 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 Well, I don't like... He's like the so third... what happened to that one traitor in Comey Jewel? What was his name again? Anjolsa? Well, You're like, still keeping Like, you don't know. Huh. Well, my lips are sealed. It's a Comey Jewel issue. Outsiders don't need to know. Okay. Dealing with Kiryu-san is one thing, but why is the bartender smirking? That's poor customer service, you know. Look at her, giving us the cold shoulder. <laughs> yeah, she has a point. That won't fly in the service industry, bartender. <laughs> all right, all right, you two. You know, more costumes- What?! More costumes to choose from the Owl Happy Room for Sunny? Oh, <gasps> what? This unlocks costumes? Well, we have to find out. We have to see what they are. I hope it's more than like, like one. Oh my God, which is the fastest right here. I hope, I hope it's not the mask. I hope it's like they meant for Sunny and not Kiryu. What we got to find out. It probably is just the stupid mask though. Let's give this a try. How are you meant to choose? <laughs> Does he even have the mask one? I'll do what you want. He Ooh, doesn't, so it has to be for Sunny. An important decision. Oh, yeah, that's that's the new one. We saw that on the beach. Oliver. Wait, Hawaii outfit? Are they in- So do- I think this might be spoiling that she goes to Hawaii, which, I mean, that's not really a spoiler because I assume that would happen. And that's what she'd be wearing. Yeah, because we saw her wear that on Dondoko, and then we saw Jungi's t-shirt. That looks cool, though. I'm not leaving until it's perfect. I'm not leaving until it's perfect. <laughs> I could make this work. We are never- Changing her outfit. I was trying to warn me from the spoiler. He's just sitting in the hallway barking again. Anyway, that's cool. So we get their Hawaii outfit for completing that. Yeah, it's a fair assumption to do they all end up in Hawaii. Don't know how. Don't care. We'll find out. I mean, I I do care, but we'll find out when we get there. Cool. Okay. Uh. We can finish up Nanba's, because I think his is... So we'll have two with him. Psycho, we have to do all of them. So hers, it's it's like literally gonna... We might get sick of listening to Sachan if her quest isn't interesting. Wait, take your bond with Sonny to the next level? There's more? I thought... Wait, how? <laughs> Peggy? <laughs> does that- does that mean, like, we can, there's more- Maybe it means there's no more, like, drink link cutscenes, but we can further increase the bonds non-stop. Might be a late game thing, or that. Anyway, we'll, we don't have to worry about it right now. We just- we have two for Nanba and five for Psycho. Alright, Nanba.
Let's see the emote picture of Peggy. No, it, it's it's Peggy from the, uh, the Captain Is America. He hey, it's all yours. Making a pervert face. You know that scene? You know that scene in, in Captain America, the first Avenger, when Steve comes out of the super serum thing and Peggy's there and she like does a quick tap on his chest? That's what that emote conveys, where it's like you're just kind of like perving on whatever it is. Just for a split second. Don't say that shit. Don't talk about my dog pegging you freaking weird perverts. Fill me in. Any new developments? <laughs> Thanks for remembering. You don't remember that movie? As it happens, That's fair. But that seems the best. Asked me out to drinks to talk. Yo, she asked him out. When's the wedding? My goodness. Blessings to the happy couple. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'll have to disappoint you there. Ah, I suppose it was about your firing then. So it turns out Lance she not called there. because the company's quick tap. for firing me jogged her memory. Oh? She remembered me because I got she fired. she was secretary to an executive there. Then the company transferred her to inspections, Cute. despite her having no training there. Explains a lot, actually. Why she seems so mistake-prone, that is. Maybe she wasn't just clumsy like we thought. You were the same. The company treated you both like objects. Yep. What's more, now it gets interesting. Her transfer and my firing were done by the same person. So there's a mastermind at work. Uh, that's an extravagant way of putting it, but yes. Turns out he's the one she was secretary to. Take a look at this here. He's on the homepage of the company. <laughs> Such a big shot. Guy's also a serial sexual harasser. He was pressuring Miyabi chan to become his mistress. Ew! But she wouldn't do it. Speaking of behavior to human resources. No HR! Sure. This is like that AI Wesker. Sure. Yeah. But he's not gonna take the hint. He's gonna right. be like, who's this HR you keep talking the about? Asshole gets a slap on the wrist. Company docks his pay for a few months. Classic. At which point he starts getting spiteful. How do you mean? Soon, Miyabi-chan loses her secretary position and gets transferred to inspections. They tell her it's just routine human resources allocation. It's simply I'm gonna call HR on you, Ronald, you weirdo. So she ended up in the same warehouse as me. All because this guy couldn't take rejection. Classic. If she complained about any of it, the company could claim it had sided with her already, right? Yeah. The harasser doesn't even quit after that. He'd stop by every so often. That's so messed day. up. Until one day when he caught her talking to me. <gasps> saw her smiling. Not the talking. He flips out. Gets jealous over it. Next thing you know, I've been shit canned. You shit canned over it. jealousy? Not the video or my past misconduct. Like you said, Kiryu san, there had to be another reason. Tricking perverts. Some of these private companies are no better than Yakuza, I found. What's the situation now then? She was smiling any worse around she another him. man? Uh, they have. Apparently he started stalking Miyabi chan now. Completely. Oliver's barking. So no one's gonna stop him. Straight to Hussey. Pretty much the case. Well, what are you gonna do about it? Kiryu-san, what do you think? I'm lost. I need some advice here. Dare you make her less miserable? Explain Adachi that he was in the video. I think Adachi, I think the Nanba stuff may have been like a different situation that it was just like a coincidence that he also got fired around the same time. But yeah, I don't know. We'll probably find out. Free marital smiling. <laughs> Alert the elders. I have to see what Oliver's barking at. Um, where did we? See how the boss likes it? This harasser needs some harassment himself. She'll harasser needs some harassment. The, the, the boss who's... Well, what do I do? Grope his ass? <clears throat> That's not what I meant, no. I'm just saying this situation calls for a reprisal, right? Yeah, you're right. Question is, what am I capable of on my own? Grope his ass, Seabass. Okay, then. Kiryu-san, thanks for this. You've helped me sort a few things out. Really? If that's so, I'm happy for you. <laughs> I want some infinite welcome, Birch. Company to drink with. I appreciate you hearing me out. 
Say, why don't we toast with a real drink? Uh, you almost had me there. Ah. Uh, so when's the ass groping? Okay, last more with last more, last one with Namba. Hey Namba. Ah, uh, curious son. Shit, I don't know what to do. Honestly, I've had worse reactions to my face. <laughs> okay, um. I'm he just ignores it. On. Yeah, the guy stalking the Abi Chan in my old workplace, the bigwig. Sure. What about him? Yeah, did you drop He's his ass yet? Or grope him? Oh god, you're worse. Some henchmen, apparently. Just now, Miyabi-chan called me to let me know. She warned me not to run into him. The thing is, this son of a bitch cost me my job. And he keeps antagonizing Miyabi-chan. What are you thinking? I'm thinking maybe this is my chance to finally say something to him. That's all you want to do? You, you say like something? A brawl. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. It's just... curious, son when I saw your face... I knew I couldn't put this off any longer. Hey, don't make my face your excuse here. Yeah, I know. It's my decision to go out there. There's too much I need to get off my chest. No turning back this time. Um, how much have you had? You seem a little tipsy. <sighs> okay. Let's make some magic, Kiryu san. Follow me into battle. Wait, this isn't like you, Namba. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I got him. This isn't like you. Time for another foolproof disguise. Can't wait. Bro, Nanba's almost here. He's supposed to be somewhere right around here. How did it all turn out like this? Hey, curious, son. Eyes open for that guy's harasser ass face. You need to take it easy. <laughs> You're the one who gave him the idea to is grope him. Oh shit, is this way? it? It's like Kuze. Oh, that's a lucky break. Finally found you, you dirty swine. What now? That also. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? You should be bowing. Why should I bow to you? It's not like I'm your. I think he's gonna grope his ass. I've been laid the hell off. So right now we're just two grown men, and you're the one in my way. Oh yeah. You did get fired. <laughs> hey, you guys know about him? Good old Nongba here got busted for stealing meds as a nurse. <laughs> well, it's point and laugh. Story, and not like it sounds. But you're still the creep who harasses his secretary. Yep. You're the one who had me fired, weren't you? Miyabi-chan and I were friends, and you couldn't stand to see it, right? <laughs> yeah? So what? That it? Is that why you're so upset with me? Losing your nine to five? It's not just that. The Avichan lost. We're got, not groping his ass. Secretary. We're groping his <laughs> breast. Ugh. He's charged. Oh, are you here to avenge her? <laughs> we'll throw down, little man. Come get some. Little man. What the hell did you say? Don't let him make you throw the first punch. He'll just use that as an excuse to gang up on you. Yo, cure you with the over-shoulder strats. Your big old buddy here is pretty sharp, but you don't need his advice, do you, Nanba? You could take down all these suits in a minute. Take a shot at me. A second. That's so. <laughs> so you admit <laughs> it was you then? What? It looks too you old to be talking to. It wasn't a couple. Oh, you got him to admit it. That it means Ichiban was never the reason. He's 100% innocent. Aww. He's free. Huh? What are you rambling about? We did it, Kiryu-san. Ichiban wasn't a Because fault. Ichiban Just blamed like himself. Figure. Nanpa. Don't tell me. Uh, somebody explain what oh, he's saying. Oh, he's a best friend through and through. Uh, fuck that, actually. Talking is bullshit. He's innocent. Well, of course he was innocent. Action. Man of action, whatever, old man. You're gonna hurt your back if you keep talking all kinds of shit. Dude, Kiri's still hammered. Hey, have some pigeons! Watch this. 
drunken salary man versus pigeons. You know what Kiryu's gonna follow it up with, right? Ready for the knockout. That was legit just a flashbang. Good job. <laughs> That's what you get for being a sexual harasser. Wait a second. Hold on, please. I'm gonna kill you. What's gonna happen Shove that burning arrow up your ass. Hey, Mr. Grabass, sir. You leave me Abichan alone starting right now. All you do to her is give her a secretary job again. Obviously, not worth you, that is. You assign her to the most decent boss you have down there. Uh, but I... Oh, buddy. Is that not... Look at these two. They're so intimidating. Maybe my friends and I should come find you again and again. No, no. You got it. She's back to secretary work. Just please, don't hit me anymore. Huh. That'll do. You should be honored, you know. This guy's fists are famous. Too famous for you. Let's get out of here, all right? Crowd's gathering. Too famous for you, that's why he busted out the burning arrow. Forgive me, curious son. <laughs> With all the adrenaline rush. Don't no, worry about it. It was sick. Kasuga's lucky to have a friend like you. Huh? I never realized. This whole time, you weren't bitter about losing your job. You were worried that Kasuga might feel like you Yeah, to that's so sweet. Yep. Oh. The Ichiban's carrying so much guilt on his shoulders, thinking he got oh. me I had to be able to assure him that it was never his fault. All this time, Ichiban's been suffering needlessly, so sweet. feeling like he owes me. I just wanted to relieve him of that burden. But even if it had been because of the online thing, you never held it against him, did you? Of course not. How could I have? He didn't do anything wrong. I see. One thing, though. Hmm. I've been biting my tongue for weeks now, and it's been pretty exhausting. Because I really did love that job, you know? So after they fired me, I had to make sure not to mope about it near Ichiban, in case he took it to heart. Uh. And now, I'm so glad. I'm glad because Ichiban is just unhateable. I could never be mad at him. So true. Not for any reason. Nanba. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm just feeling relieved. Cheers. Thanks, thanks for, for five tonight gift only. subs. What do you say we have a real drink? Let's have a real drink. Thanks, dude. <laughs> You're <a laughs> Big blush tuber. <laughs> if we're going to do this, I insist we go top shelf. Hmm. Bartender. Bartender, gift five subs to Shizzy Hollywood. Offering. I don't think he's gonna do it. Flesh tuber, yeah, it's a it's a meme. Flesh tuber is the worst word I've ever heard, and it's a meme. Wait, so, so he can wear his his. Uh, wait a minute, because he's gonna wear his like Hawaii getup, and he's like takes off his coat in battle. That's pretty sick. Thank you, fellow favorite flesh tuber. Well, I guess that's it. Here, let's sing a song before Sachan. We talked to Sachan for an hour. I'll show you how it's done. Wakadaro. What was that one? It's only me. I mean, we gotta sing Bakutai. Ichiban's still in Hawaii. <laughs> well, we gotta sing Machine Gun Kiss because that's my favorite. Looks like I'm up. Looks like I'm up. Now, lend me your ears. He just says, "Get the fuck out." Sick of you. You're chaotic, Gario. Midnight shadow. Evaporate, accelerate, 
Hi, way to see you. I only know this is Japanese version, it's the same thing. <laughs> I'll just sing the Japanese lyrics. Are <laughs> you ready? I know this is coming apart. My sweet babe. Now let's let go of our past and our future. This night has room for only two you and me. So come and see. I'll show oh, you paradise tonight. That's not just one. Oh shit. Not two kisses. That's not just this I've got a full clip of love for you. Face it. See, that's Japanese lyrics. Fuck! <laughs> I keep this because I'm trying to read the lyrics while hitting it. I keep missing it. Is that just all the love? I don't know the words. Whoa, whoa, auto tune. See, I don't get auto tune. I'm doing this live, baby. Japanese. No, because just baby and the other part is in they speak in English in the Japanese songs. That's the only note so lyrics I know. <laughs> baby. I know there's so there's a song she's like not not all the songs in karaoke have autotune, but there's one that's like almost entirely autotune. Anyway, <laughs> I talked to Sachan. So the notes are baby. Really? Shit, that's awesome. I did I didn't I didn't know that. Sachan, did you like my rendition of Machine Gun Kiss? Hey there, Kiryu san. Are you here for a drink? You uh sure that'll be okay? No need to worry about me. <laughs> oh, please. But since you're already here, brother, there just so happens to be a seat right next to me. Wow, that next Wait, to you? I'll take you up on that. Liar. Sound like a mixture of Fergie and Jesus. So, Psycho. Machine Gun kissed Oliver. I always have I'm not just a full a clip mama. of I'm kisses the owner for him. Of the whole joint. Oliver. After the previous owner passed away. One thing led to another. Not just one smooth, not over. too smooth. The younger yes. girls are usually the ones serving not the customers. Sometimes I lend them a hand too. Flip a smooches for you. So <laughs> for this conversation then. Mm-hmm. This care feels Easter. like they just turned on dial to eleven and left it there. But Some songs, you yeah. Did help us out before, Kiryu san. So <laughs> let's just call it even. I won't be taking any money from you. Oh, whoops. I should be calling you Suzuki-san instead, right? It's too late for that. <laughs> Can you use my real name around friends? Look, he looks like he's like... he look Okay, he looks like Sachan is talking about something that he just does not give a shit about and he's like struggling to pay attention. <laughs> like he's thinking about something completely different right now. Like a riddle. It'd make me happy if you could call me by my real name around our friends. There aren't any enemies here anyway. Sounds good. That's easier for me. Man, hit you with Ichi's proposal. Well, I can't speak for the rest of our motley crew, but so I'll they just have call you I mean, I would have, I would have said yes to Ichiban's proposal even before he was finished. I'd be like Ichiban, I know where this is going. Yes. This air of sophistication, even when you're sipping a drink, you look like such a gentleman. Oh well, yeah, he's Same perfect. Same to you. You look like the very picture of elegance sitting here. Great. Alone. Great. They're just flirting. <laughs> oh, yeah? <sighs> Maybe working at the club has actually sucked the youth out of me. I'm sure that it takes more than youth and vigor alone to become a successful business owner. Yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe that's why the men who come on to me are starting to change up their pickup lines. Really now? How so? Well, they don't stop at dating. And by that, I mean they start hinting at marriage, or, you know, things like that. Marriage. Those are some intense customers. They're not like that at all around the younger girls. But I seem to attract a lot of customers like that. 
The type of guy who's looking to get hitched. Uh, guess that means I'm at the right age for that. People are starting to look at me that way now. At least that's the sort of vibe I get. Yeah, it sucks, Actually, right? Get this. One of the guys hitting on me is pretty rich, and he has a lot going for him. Ichiban? He's rich? Like you don't mind that at all. Mm, I wouldn't say that. Honestly, <laughs> I'm not to get married. I'm plenty satisfied with how my oh, life weirdo. is right now. On the other hand, there's my twin sister. I keep thinking she needs to tie the knot with her boyfriend and settle down already. I mean, she's at the perfect age to get married. If she doesn't hurry, she'll let the chance slip by. Something's not adding up here. If she's your twin, wouldn't that make her the same age as you? Uh, I know, I know. It's like the pot. I mean, there are different the points black. of their lives. It's not about the I'm age. It's just about the experiences. Trying to justify myself. As long as you know, I won't comment. <laughs> By the way, hmm? did Ichiban say anything about me Ooh. when you guys were in Hawaii? Nope. Let me think. But why do you ask? Are you worried about him? Well, not exactly. I just haven't talked to him in a while. Who doesn't <laughs> like Jungi? That pissed me off. <gasps> How Mr. long Rob. is a while? Mm, nah, just leave it. All that I hope this is, that he's it's just talking it. about Ichiban the whole time. Besides, this is Ichiban we're talking about. No matter where he goes, I can't imagine him being anything but his stubborn, cheerful self. Hear you, son? What's up? Why'd you get all quiet? Talking about another man in front of me? Oh. I'm gonna ask, be upfront. Did something happen between you and Kasuga? I'll help you out if you need a hand. Oh, no. <laughs> it's nothing like that. All right. Will you let me know if there's anything I can do for you? Got that? You're a real compassionate guy, Kiryu-san. Kinda reminds me of Ichiban. <laughs> what can I say to that? You know, if I keep spending more time with you, Kasuga might get upset. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not like that at all. The two of us are just friends. Ichiban sure. getting upset? Well, let's drink again No, Ichiban we'll would be happy that Kiryu and his would-be <laughs> wife <laughs> getting along. You, in fact. Make sure your health doesn't get any worse, Kiryu-san. You got it. I look forward to doing this again. Yeah, same here. It's been fun. Karaoke Fever. Oh my god, wait, their tag team is Karaoke Fever? That'd be so cute. I can't wait to see what that's gonna look like. Alright, you wanna, like, talk about Ichiban some more? <laughs> I could talk about Ichiban for another, like, four times. Each <laughs> one would see this and be like, you're killing it! Hey, Psycho. Mind if I join you for a drink? Hey, Psycho. Yeah, go ahead. I've been saving this seat just for you, Kiryu-san. You keep saying that. Gotta keep an eye on the sickly, you know. Make sure he's not drinking too much. That's so. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. What? Actually, there's something I wanted to ask you. When you're hitting on a woman... Oh, my God. Are you the attentive type? The kind of man who takes care of all of her needs. Hmm. I'd say so. Oh my god, Oliver is conked out in the hallway. Good boy. Have you ever given someone a bouquet? That's not my style. I've never done that myself, but I think it's actually pretty bold. Okay, but if a guy gave you enough roses to nearly fill your room every single day, that'd be crazy, right? And crazy expensive to boot. What's the problem? Those guys only exist in soaps. Same we could do that if they had the money. I should have done that too. <laughs> I would have saved the last one because it'd be funny. Because the first one's not true because people are weird. That's also true. He looks so mad. He just looks like he's struggling to stay awake with this conversation. Like, I don't care. <laughs> Every conversation with you is like this. I'm with you there, but maybe I should have tried that back in the day. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Well, I'm sure you could still pull it off, so don't take yourself out of the game just yet. 
Anyone would be thrilled to get flowers from oh, you, Kiri-san. So Honestly, it's kind of cute when a guy tries his best not to act embarrassed. <laughs> right. Embarrassing about flowers. So what's with the rose? <laughs> yeah, Pim's the only time Some he's awake. actually trying to woo you with a bouquet or two? <laughs> You're pretty sharp, Kiryu-san. That is I mean, on. that's what you implied. <sighs> you must be quite the character, then. Psycho. All right, I'm listening. So what kind of guy is he? He's the CEO of some consulting firm that just started up here in Ijincho. Boring. He's young, only like a year older than me. After his first visit to the club, he asked me on a date, and I figured it wouldn't hurt to say yes. And ever since then, he's been sending me a ton of roses every day. To my club and to my home. What a weirdo. It doesn't really bother me, and I just feel bad if I told him off for it. You shouldn't, though. Was this pretty recent? Yeah, like, since last month. The guy seems head over heels for you. Those flowers can't be cheap either. And on top of that, he even slips in stuff like marriage and our future. Are you talking about Ichiban? Conversation. So this CEO guy is the same customer who was pressing you about getting hitched. Yep. I mean, honestly, he was a great guy on our date, and he does seem to know how to treat a woman. He's attentive, and he never runs out of things to talk about. And he's funny, too. She's just talking about Ichiban. And girls might even call him perfect. He's pretty perfect. Seems like you don't think too badly of Mr. CEO, either. Huh. Does it come off that way? Oh, yeah. That reminds me. What's up? I heard Ichiban is doing just fine over there. He's uh, hanging around with that oh. one girl, right? Chitose-chan? Uh. Oh, yeah, I guess so. So, what's she like? She's a traitor, don't worry. Kind who won't be phased by a ton of roses. She wonderful not as lovely as you. She's eating dark for you don't be your family. Ooh. Let's go. Let's go with that one. <laughs> she wanted to say hussy so bad. She's like, just hanging out with that one hussy, isn't he? Chitose-chan? What's she like? She, I could hear it in her voice. <laughs> I want to make her jealous. Chitose is the daughter of the Fujinomiya. She's pretty great. <laughs> she's pretty unique. Never mind that she's a traitor. That's what I've heard too. Being born into a family like that is already way impressive. At first, I thought she was just a petty thief. She is. Kasuga and I both got played by her. Yeah. <laughs> She's so fresh and drinking. Well, Chitose-chan more or less stripped uh. Ichiban of everything he owned and threw him out, right? Wasn't he being way too careless? <laughs> yeah. He'd you love her. Like... I mean, he went all the way to Hawaii to meet his mom. <sighs> he should have kept his head on straight. Well, he should have been there babysit him. Because I don't know. wasn't seduced by her. He only got his drink spiked. On top of that, she told him she was Akane-san's housekeeper. I don't think he had much reason to suspect her. Yeah, he let his guard down, but I wouldn't blame him. Uh-huh. So you're taking Ichiban's side, yep. Kiri-san? <laughs> that man never changes. I'm not sure if it's because he's gullible or what. It's hard to leave him alone, isn't it? Incredibly. <laughs> I know from personal experience. And her eyes were insane in heart to anyone, so... I'm positive he doesn't look at Chitose in the way you think he does. Does that make you feel any better? What? <laughs> look, if Ichiban's getting friendly with a cute girl, with some hussy Hawaii, over in Hawaii, I'm happy for him. Really? Yeah, you sound happy. <laughs> uh huh. Sure. I'll drop the subject then. <laughs> and what are you chuckling at? What's so funny, huh? <sighs> that does it. I'm gonna drink all night long. I don't know if it's just your age talking or what. Whoa! But that attitude of yours just pissed me off. Psycho! Hey, how would you like it if I stripped you down today, Kiryu san? What? <laughs> Careful. I'm a sick man, remember? Yeah, be Have nice to him. Hey, what are you smirking about? <laughs> She's becoming unhinged. Anyway, let's keep talking to her. <laughs> Psycho, you free? I could go for some laughs. Hey, Psycho. Did you just get here? 
Let's talk about Ichiban yeah. some more. His <laughs> face. Oh, great. I gotta talk about her problems before we get to Ichiban. You all right? What's bugging, What's bugging you? you? Uh, it's that whole dating thing we talked about last time. You know, with that consulting firm CEO. Right, him. Still going on about marriage, I take it. <laughs> that he is. <laughs> she is. I guess there's no time to rest for the popular. I don't think he drops by the club for fun either. He's just there, hitting on me the whole time. Yeah. He doesn't even glance at the younger girl. Oh, do we have any bananas left? Sorry. Sure, he looks like a womanizer, but at Lots least he's got bananas. money. His business seems to be doing well too. I just don't get why he's so focused on me. Focused. Hmm. You think he's got an ulterior motive? Hmm. I have an ulterior motive. I want to hear you talk about Ichiban some more. Just like anyone else, but this guy's definitely better off than me. So if it's not about the money, <laughs> yeah, <that> Chibli. <laughs> While he's like waiting for a, so so a psycho to finish her story, he's like, "Do I have any bananas?" <laughs> Naturally. He just doesn't know what Knowing he's struggling that, at. I can say this with full confidence: that man is just crazy for you. Yeah. Well. Even so, I'm not really thinking about marriage. My club might be on the small side, but I like being able to run things my way. I've even told him myself that I'm not planning to get married. <sighs> but he's pressing so hard. It makes me wonder if he's after something, you know? He's after getting married. Is it safe to, you? to assume that he's probably got some kind of He's trying to steal motive? your business. Cuz it is a little steal creepy. your Ichiban. I was so confused for a second because I saw this yellow light, like it's in the game. And I'm like, is that my window? <laughs> but it's nighttime. Why would it be bright? And then I'm like, oh, that's the game. Because <laughs> that kind of perfectly lines up with my window. Like, this is where the window sill ends right here. And so, like, perfectly lines up with the black part. You see that? That's kind of freaking me out. Like, it lines up so perfectly. <laughs> anyway. I don't like that. This is... <clears throat> anyway, I'll protect you. What do we... Tell me more about this guy while I go get some pineapple. Tell me more about this guy. I won't be able to figure out what he's up to that way. I looked into him myself, but I didn't find anything too sketchy. This guy is... Well... I told you that he founded a consulting firm, right? But he's also the son of a CEO of another large company. Judging by his background alone, you could say he's set for life. But even not though he's wealthy, just one fruit. he tries not to rely on not his parents. Just two fruits. Seems like he really struggled on his own for a while. You know, I got a full like tin of guy. pineapples, baby. It's easy to figure out who's struggled in life once you get a conversation <laughs> rolling. In that respect, he's not just another rich kid. He can be serious, but he can also Ooh. let loose and have fun. I think people like him are pretty reliable. Ugh, I've had enough rose bouquets for a life. I don't know, Jibluk. It's like she wants to marry this is him. Just something my imagination cooked up. But I can see Kaska doing his own thing with roses too. Same. Yeah. <laughs> That's not going to get him anywhere though because he doesn't understand what really matters. Well, at least with him. He what do you have mean to worry he doesn't? Motive. He'd make it too obvious. He's not such a bad guy. Uh Okay. You know, here you son. Sounds to me like you're trying to talk him up. Let me guess. You heard something, didn't you? Like, oh, I don't know. How Ichiban asked me out on a date? I want to hear from you. I want to hear your side of the story. I've only overheard Kasuga and Nanba talking. So nobody told you anything about it? Well, we were pretty busy over in Hawaii. We had to rush through an entire laundry list of things to get them done. Now I finally have room to breathe. And to drink. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Sounds like something happened on your date? Yeah. Sure was something. He proposed to me on her first date of all things. No kidding. That's a very Kasuga thing to do. 
But I assume it didn't go well, considering you're not on speaking terms. It did not, no. Ichiban just kept going on and on about what he wanted us to be when we got married. Obviously shows how much he's thought about it. Yeah, I know he can be a bit awkward when it comes to this kind of stuff. But honestly speaking, that's not exactly what I wanted to hear. But you weren't against a proposal? Well, we've known each other for a long time. I guess Ichiban figured his feelings wouldn't change. Not then and not in the future. Hmm, so I take it you didn't completely hate the idea. Well, truth be told. Holy shit. Got my heart fluttering. Now who's the hussy? I'm pretty sure that I was feeling just as nervous as Ichiban was that day. No kidding. Right now, I'm the one getting all worked up listening to this. Yeah, I know, right? Ugh, enough of that. Seriously, how do we always end up talking about Ichiban when we're drinking together? Yeah, I guess we do. <sighs> let's talk about your love life for a change, Kiryu-san. No, let's go ahead and talk about Ichiban, unless Kiryu's love life involves Ichiban. Hold on. Anything new with you? I've been a sick, lonely man for a good while now, but... <laughs> Damn. I had my fair share of romance in the past. Started with the bummer. Oh, yeah? I'm listening. Well, a long time ago, soon after I was placed in foster care, she arrived. The moment I laid eyes on her, I felt something special between us. In the past, I was innocent, eager. But then... But then? Uh, <clears throat> it'll take me more than a day or two to get through this story. Aww. And, uh, I'm starting to doze off. What? Seriously? Hey, that is so respect not fair. his story. I'll make time to tell you the whole story once I'm in better shape. Uh huh, sure. And when will that be? I'm gonna have you schedule that for a later date then. <laughs> Don't ask for the impossible. Once you get to my age, you never know when you'll be in good shape again. So true. <laughs> Don't give me such a half assed excuse then. Complain all you want. I'm not budging. Oh yeah, we got one more. Or wait, was that was that three or four? Anyway, respect your elders. You, you, Jake. Thank you. In two months. So anyway, psycho. I'm back to talk about Ichiban. I mean, yeah, he he he's got. If we're gonna start at Yumi, that's fine. But like, there's still a lot to talk about. That's gonna take all night. We would do it. Um. But I hope he brings up Majima. Yeah, there's this one guy even. He calls me Kiryu chan. Makes my heart flutter. Are you just on the phone with that guy? She's on her phone, I'll wait for her to finish her call. Were you just gonna okay. stand there like a weirdo wait for her to finish her phone call? Just let me know straight away. Like now. Michael Myers. Yeah, thanks. Oh, I couldn't help but notice you're done with your phone call. What's up? Is there a problem? Yeah, something came up at the club. I don't wanna bore you with the details, Kiryu san. <laughs> I'll talk about Gorumi. There you go. Um, how can I ignore a friend in trouble? I can't ignore my friends when they're in trouble. If you've got a problem, there is no way I'm turning a blind eye to it. Really? Wow. I'm happy to hear that. It's just a minor issue, honestly. But those do tend to pair perfectly with some drinks. Is there anything I can do to help? Sadly, no. I... I don't think so. So, a problem at the club, was it? That usually means sales aren't up to snuff, or the staff... Oh, the club top... Oh, Kashiwagi's here. You'll have Third the real time. Harassing you, trying to make you cough up protection money. I hear the Seryu clan hasn't been going around doing that lately. No, come back! She, her conversation's boring! Really now? Good to hear. But yeah... One of our business rivals is headhunting our girls. Boring. Of course, that's not illegal here in I know, Jinchu, it's cool that he's actually interjecting. The economy's down, everyone's desperate to survive. How many girls did they poach from you? So far, just the one. 
but it looks like they approached four or five other girls. Can you take her old drink? That's no minor issue. If they all get headhunted, we're done for. Hold well, on, I'm sorry to pause this because I want to talk to Shiz right now. Dude, yeah. No, I, I thought they were going to get into something, but they just, like, looked at each other. And I was like... <clears throat> uh, I was like, I don't really remember the details of what happened in their last game, but... Like, they, they know each other, they were friends. And so I was waiting for something to slip. But then I looked, I, I then I googled it. <laughs> Hold on, you might find this funny. But then I googled uh, Kashiwagi in 3, because I was like... Couldn't really remember exactly what happened, so I, I wanted to look it up, right? And then I saw he was in Yakuza 0, 1, and 2. I'm like, I don't even remember him being in those other ones. <laughs> I think maybe all the scenes that I remember from 3 are, like, possibly in the other ones as well. But I just, like think of them all in like the same game how are the same trying to break our hearts and be surprised chapter 14 it's like it's been good out of here dude same i know i want him i want them to be buds because like kiri keeps talking about his like bucket list like making amends and all that and i feel like being able to like call kashiwagi a friend and all that again would be nice I taught yeah, she is. Everything they I, like, I don't remember him in those other games at all. Running without them. I just remember the end of. That's not the, the worst of it. People are saying I'm trying to close up shop, which only makes it easier to drive these girls away from us. Wait, they're saying what now? Rumor has it that I'm totally on board with marrying that consulting firm CEO. It's true he hasn't been subtle about it, so other people assume I'm happy about the whole thing. That makes the rumor about me shutting down the club seem more plausible. If that's really the case, then no wonder the girls think it'd be better to move to another club. And the cherry on top? Nobody told me about the headhunting right away because they cared about my happiness. In fact, they finally let me know in that last phone call. Really? And you didn't want to tell me? This is getting out of hand. Honestly, I'm more shocked that my girls kept this from me. Uh, Especially because I figured... I had all the pineapples out. To it's trying to kill my tongue. To keep things casual. By the way, is it just me or is there just too fine a line... What are you talking about, Psycho? ...being overbearing lately? When you climb up to a higher position, that may create a rift between you and other people. <clears throat> it happens. Shiz, this would have been a perfect but way to have a cabaret club meeting happened. game again. Huh? What about it? Don't you think this could all be a Talk setup? about YouTube on some more. Setup? By who? The person who called you just now. I don't know, Kiryu. I don't, how about you spit it out? You're the smart one. I'm just here to make you do birding arrow. <laughs> the person who called you just now. Maybe they were just saying they were looking out for you, but they've been in cahoots with your oh, business rivals all along. Hmm. I would pick my next words very carefully. I told I you I don't know anything. I was talking to my right hand woman. We've worked together for years. Well, I'm so sorry. I trust a lot. Yeah, uh, pineapple eats see. your tongue. Well, if we're talking about trust, then there is one other person who seems pretty shady to the me. The CEO guy. Oh yeah? Who is it this time? The CEO of the consulting firm who's been pursuing you. It all makes sense. His constant proposals made it easier for the girls to leave the club. You really think so? She, she's been All being used this whole time. By you, so they likely feel a deep sense of gratitude. Normally, they wouldn't be persuaded so easily. They would have reported to you right away so you could deal with it appropriately. Yeah, that's how it should have gone, but... Mm, too much of a stretch? I've told you before, right? That CEO's loaded, so he's not exactly strapped for cash. Why would someone like that be headhunting hostesses? Uh, that's true. And I don't mean to flatter myself here, but he takes each and every Citrus in general. Seriously. Pineapple's like. If this was some kind next of level. marriage scam, Pineapple's I the burning arrow like of him. citruses that try to. Can't argue against that. Eat your. Oh, sorry. Your tongue. I I didn't mean to blow up at you. But you I'll sure? look into this incident anyway, just in case, to see if he's involved. Sorry if I offended you. I crossed the line even though I don't know much about running a business. Yes, you do! It's fine. <laughs> you actually no do! Taken. You're pretty much the only one who'd hear me out on these kinds of things lately, Kiryu-san. 
Yeah, because I'm, I'm the only one. Here. Feel free to try and bore me all you want. I think I so might tough. take you up on that. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Aww. That was cute. So anyway, body Ichiban. I'm gonna fight between 20 tier baseball bats, Slurback Gorilla. That's that's a quote. I know that. Anyway, the answer is Kiryu. He doesn't know how to run a business. <laughs> Bitch, he's he's been running business since before you were born. She's taking a call. Yeah. Got to stand and wait again. <laughs> he's really? so not. I, I just can't believe it. He's so not subtle about this. Gotcha. I guess I was wrong about the whole thing. I'll go check it out myself. Yo, sandwich. Take you twenty months. Go, this could mean war. Where's the itchy one? They only let me pick between five. They make. They let me have more. Yo, she didn't even say hi to Kiryu. Okay. Okay. Like hey. something happened with Psycho-san. Something happened between us? Yeah, something alarming at that. God, I just want them to be Especially friends again. War. If I recall correctly, the two of you have talked about it before. About how her girls being headhunted may have been part of a ploy. That's right. I guess the CEO who's been falling two. over her was behind everything. I'm I probably... so sure about that. It's hard to say, going by that phone call alone. Um, excuse me. Are you Suzuki-san? Thanks for looking out for our mama. Who? Are you talking to me? Who? Who else would she be talking to? You're the only Tai Chi Suzuki here. Oh, that's right. I really do tend to let my guard down at this bar. <laughs> you mentioned your mama. Oh, that's I'm right. Guessing you're one of Psycho's girls? Yeah. She was just here, right? I came to stop her from rushing into trouble. But she hung up before I could get a word in. So the person Saka was talking to. Yep, it was me. What's going on? Right. You know that CEO making a move on our mama? Turns out he has connections with the rival club. Oh, of course. This guy with a consulting firm? Yeah, him. Apparently, he and the manager of the rival club ran in the same circles back in college. Mr. College. CEO was always looking out for him. Anyway. It sounds like the club manager asked his old pal to keep hounding our mama to keep her from noticing all the headhunting. Damn. So Sayaka went to give those guys a piece of her mind. That's where you thought she'd be in trouble, right? Yeah, she sounded pretty pissed, so I figured I had to stop her. All right, I'll go check on her then. Do you know where this club is? Oh, yeah, I do, actually. Well, I'm glad you asked. Think you have Big Mom every time? Oh no! I can't no. believe you've been wasting my Anything time. Big Mom. So tell me, was everything just a ruse so you could pick apart my whole crew? Well, guess this is the end of the line. What a douchebag! You caught me. I did help him headhunt for his club. Yes, it was a request from an old friend. See, he always comes to me whenever he's in a pinch. Sorry about all this. I'll clean up this. Mess. It's fine, but Psycho-san, listen, I know you're angry, but I think there's been a little misunderstanding. <laughs> uh-huh, sure there is. But now that I know what you're after, I can see right through you. You're just a pair of scumbags. Hey, watch your mouth. My friend here makes millions in a month, and you're just a mama from some cheap-ass club. <laughs> What, you expect me to change my tune just because he's filthy rich? This is Oliver. me and him, so buzz off, dumbass! You bitch! <laughs> Guess you didn't need my help after all. But Kiryu, put on a mask. face you're making, Saiko. Oh. Hey, Kiryu-san. No, I'm Taichi. I got word you were Great. pissed that a guy More people are gonna know I'm Kiryu. You seem to be keeping a cool head. Well, yeah, I just want them to quit snatching up my girls. Well, that and having them swear never to do that again. Right. So that's why you got yourself a bodyguard. But that makes things easier for us. You know, since I'd rather not lay a hand on a lady and all. Can we not? I didn't come here to deal with you. I don't want to get dragged into this either. At least, wait until I leave? No can't. <laughs> 
hit him hard and fast. Come on, it was like top. sneezes every Got time somebody finds out whose identity's been busted. She's got something up her sleeve. Another this one, old man's probably gonna put up a good fight. Probably, uh, hold on. I think you've got the wrong probably. Now. Just FYI, you're messing with the wrong person. I can't tell you his name, but I'm warning you, he's strong enough to be called a legend. Okay, well, they already like know my name is Kiryu, so. Come on, boys! Time to shut them up! Although, common folk like these ruffians wouldn't know who Kiryu is. Only people of the Yakuza. Oh my god, look. They look so cool together. Come back here. Yo, tag team! Crit karaoke forever? I guess it's just a heal. Ready when you are. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I like that. So it's just, it heals everyone. That's awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna stop the burning arrow. And flashbacks. <laughs> that's what that pineapple did inside of my mouth. It still hurts. What the hell are you? I'm the dragon of Dojima. But I you did already say knew you that. messed with the wrong guy. Wait, please! I really can't fight or anything! This has all been a misunderstanding, Psycho-san! That mustache with that sweater. Give it up already, won't you? The manager here asked you to toy with me, didn't he? You think I was in a rush to get married since I'm right at that age? So you played it up thinking I'd bite? Just a second. Why do you insist Psycho's misunderstanding something? Spit it out. I, I admit it. I'm not buying it. Whatever his music's about, I'm not Psycho interested. At my friend's behest. He wanted me to draw your attention. That way he could poach all the girls you've trained yourself. As for me, I thought I could have some fun with a young, beautiful mama who works hard to earn her money with her own club. Ugh, can you hurry up and get to the point already? Because you're just adding fuel to the fire right now. I, I, I apologize. I, just please, let me say my piece. I really wasn't looking for that. I just happened to find it, and it was like perfect timing, by the way. After I didn't set you, that up. I'm just cleaning up my desk while this guy's speaking. You, your personality and your business philosophy, and that's when I realized if I were to find a partner for life, I can't see myself with anyone but you. What are you saying? All right, all right. Now I mean it. Do you truly hate Come me, Psycho Son? Was he proposing? I was kind of hoping I still stood Ooh, a chance. second. Her second proposal of the game. I've got money and the looks. That could be emoji, myself, right? My business is doing well, and I love kids. And I fully understand that my personality needs some fixing. Wait, are you seriously trying to propose to her right now? I am. I hadn't been interested in marriage at all. This not proposal so sucks, okay? Don't do not say Too yes to this guy. Have tried to get close to me. Their eyes set on the fortune I've made. But Psycho Sun is <laughs> different from them. As soon as I heard the music, uh, I was like, I know where this is going. She cared not a whit for my money. She's always brimming with confidence, even when she relies on someone else. You're beautiful and thoughtful. With someone like you at my side, I'm sure I could learn how to support another. In the beginning, where did those I come from? <laughs> ridiculous farce. But now I believe we could create the perfect family together. That doesn't sound like such a bad deal, right? You can even drop your modest little club. No, she likes I her modest little club. My friend will take good care of your girls at his place. <laughs> Shut this guy from up. Get off this stage. Surely you understand how this would benefit you. This proposal sucks. Ichiban's was a million what? times better. Bullshit. Oh! Huh? I'm done listening to your stupid, long-winded excuse, yes. so now you listen to me. First, run off to that little friend of yours. First of all. Tell him not to come near my girls. Ever. If he tries to pull another stunt like that again, he's as good as dead in this town. I'll it's like, but the bouquet! And kick you two out of Ijincho myself. But, uh, what about my proposal? I'm not done talking. Ooh. Yes, ma'am. Sorry but your words didn't get my heart racing. But I admit, it takes balls to propose given your current situation. It takes balls to propose when you're so pathetic. Maybe that would have worked on some other girl, but not me. Oh, the crazy eyes are coming back. Coming on to me, 
I will humiliate you so badly, you will never recover from the shame. Oh, God! Don't you ever come looking for me again, if you know what's best for you. It's over. Oh, she should have done the Bye. ball kick. Here you, do it! Kick his balls! You're a tough one. Guess I didn't need to check on you. She's walking away so fast. <laughs> All right, so anyway, let's talk about Ichiban again. Unbelievable! Like, seriously, do I only attract guys like him? Him? I tried away marriage with pros and cons, but I don't see a single goddamn pro from my end. Ugh! Idiots, all of them. This isn't a joke. Sometimes that's just how it is. I'm a He's like afraid of her. He's just I like, well, what can you do? Sorted, unlike most guys. Yeah, girl. Agreed. But maybe you ought to slow Here, down. you don't tell her what You're to do. You're drinking too much too fast. Well, excuse me, but I am pretty depressed right now. Is that how marriage proposals go nowadays? Or she had the best fashioned? proposal to her. Mm -hmm. Old fashioned how? Well, when I think of marriage, I think of a place two lovers end up after affirming their feelings for one another. But that CEO and even Ichiban. Yeah. They both said the same thing, like how they'd make me happy and what sort of dream. Okay, but Ichiban meant together. it and he's perfect in but every there's way. something more important than all of that. Why didn't he realize that? And he thought he could get away with it after knowing me for so long. He perked Look, up when maybe this is just my <laughs> when he heard Ichiban. He's like, oh. Uh huh. The CEO and Kasuga's proposals. They both sounded the same to you, didn't they? I mean, Oliver, Ichiban's no, no. was probably worse. No, they weren't. Ichiban's yeah, proposal was so sweet. Well. Especially when it comes to saying what mattered most to me. Yeah, what, that's about you. This is about I me, though. Figured as much. <laughs> what makes you say that? I've spent a lot of time with Kasuga in Hawaii. His... Awkwardness aside, I do admire his passion. And by now, after having a few drinks with you, I can imagine what sort of date you went on and what you guys talked about. Well, they talked about Nanba or Dachi the whole time. I'm sure he was spinning his trying so hard to convince you. So Unfortunately, every point he made to win you over all meant the same thing to you. That there won't be a single con. And that wasn't what you wanted to hear when he was proposing was it but you can't bring yourself to tell him that you wanted to hear something else because of that you spent all this time not talking to him you really think so when did kiryu become such a love guru <laughs> actually actually maybe you're right maybe that's what this is all about i know why i can't answer that question for you but i do have one piece of advice one piece nobody knows when their life will be over one day, you might be told your days are numbered. Oh, care you, son. When you're young, you think you have all the time in the world. But the clock's ticking. I don't recommend you end things the way they are. <sighs> That's all I have to say. Thank you, care you, son. No need to thank me. That was just the ravings of an old man. <laughs> If you say so. <laughs> you know, I really loved my grandpa, so you can keep going on about Wow. Hey now, I was just being modest there. Don't actually treat me like any other old man. <laughs> yes, sir. If you say grandpa. Anyway, I'll slow down so we can take our time drinking. Come on, how about a toast? To what? Hmm, let's see. Sweet Yvonne. To this very moment, to enjoy the rest of our lives to the fullest. Not bad. I'll drink to that. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I can see them in the window cheersing. Cheers with some warm milk. <laughs> that was sweet. Not enough talking about Ichiban, though. Damn! Okay, so that took almost exactly an hour and a half to get through all this, because we started around 8.30 and now it's 10. That was with breaks, though. 
Yeah, 832 to 10.02, so like exactly an hour and a half. It's 10 p.m., I know, right? There was a pineapple event. Yeah, that was... I was in control of that. It was a great event, and food break event, and an Oliver event. 24-hour drink link stream one. <laughs> that, well, that's... Go to Shizzy Hollywood, twitch.tv slash Shizzy Hollywood for the 24-hour <laughs> drink link stream. Spent like eight hours in the bar. I Bernie arrowed all their troubles away. That's right, everyone. Get in close so I can Bernie arrow. Actually, you know what? No need because that thing nukes a huge area. Oliver, what? What? I want to sing.